Why do I shop at 3 a.m.? Here's another one of my 3 a.m. purchases. This one's good though. Right now my collection is hidden behind these cabinets. So I got these clear floating wall shelves, a whole bunch of them, so I can display them. Ah. I'm also putting neon lights on these. It's gonna be so cute. The lighting is so bad in here. Okay, so this is the wall and I already put a shelf up. Oh, I'm so sad. Long story short, I can't put up the rest of the shelves. Plan B, I got this at Lowe's for $30. Yes, but it did take me three hours to build. So hopefully this works. gosh it's so cute don't mind the holes in the wall i gotta patch them i'm gonna throw all my cups on here so i can get an idea of what it's gonna look like <laughs> can't wait to sort everything i'm probably gonna color code and my lights will be here in about a day or two so i will see you in part two. Oh my god i've gotten a lot of requests asking me to make a smoothie so i'm gonna show you how to make my favorite breakfast smoothie i'm gonna grab my magic bullet cup this is the taller one i just filled it a third of the way with ice two scoops of the super greens powder which is about a half a tablespoon one scoop of protein powder. Now I just stuff it with a whole bunch of greens. Add in half a banana and freeze the other half for next time. Fill the cup halfway with almond milk and the rest with cold water. And we're blending! Yeah, blending! And that is it. Wow. Let me know if you want to see more smoothie recipes. Also, I am filming part five as we speak. As you can see, there's paint all over my hands and fingers. I tried to wash it off, but it didn't come off. Yo, what up? Right back, time to restock the pantry. First popcorn. I saw this on Pinterest, it's so cute. Cereal. Dried fruit. Rice. I'm so scared, okay, flour. Sugar. Now I'm gonna fill the snacks. Please enjoy this ASMR by Honey Bubba Bear. Look how cute the pasta looks. Running out of time, this is it. I love it so much, I can actually see everything. Spring cleaning my entire house part two. The pantry. First I'm taking everything out, which won't take me long because all I have is seasoning and cereal. Oh, looks the same. Now I'm gonna wipe it all down. Should I? No. Yes. I shouldn't. My whole house is glowing at this point. Now I'm gonna plan everything out. I really want a pasta section. I don't even know how to make pasta. Just kidding, mom, if you're watching this. Cereal. I'm gonna put all my spices on this thing. These are going here. These bucket things are going on this shelf. I'm also putting these tray things on top. Rice, flour, sugar, pancake mix, a refresher section. Lastly, these buckets up here. Now I'm gonna stock everything, but I need to go grocery shopping. I'm going shopping tonight, but can you guys help me make a pantry grocery list? Tag me, DM me, whatever works. But I need help. I'll be right back. See you in the restock video. Yo, what up? I'm gonna try and make a get well basket for Courtney. She's sick, and since I can't be there, I'm hoping this helps. First slippers and a blanket. She wrote out notes for the last gift she gave me. So of course I'm doing the same for her. Next a mug and tea. Okay, but this mug is so cute. The note. Next, a candle. And a key plan to keep by our nightstand. Courtney loves coffee, but what if it was delivered? Things that help me when I feel sick. This one, she gets bored. Got one too, we'll see how that goes. Goldfish, her favorite snack. Thought everything would fit. I'll just put everything else in the box. Stuff I thought was cute, but also funny. Lastly, she does mystery unboxings. That's what everything else is for. She probably already has the mystery stuff. We'll see, maybe not. Just decorated the box, it's so cute. Now I'm gonna send it to her, and yeah. I thought I was quick. No, I could not find the gold cups anywhere, but I did get some cute ones and I want to make a cup collection shelf now. Honestly, I'm just grateful I was able to get this one. <laughs> Our ice machine has been broken, so we've been getting pebbled ice from the gas station. Imagine pebbled ice in here. Ah, look at them together. I'm going to start by taking everything out. Oh my gosh, they're so cute together. I've never had them all in one place at the same time. I'm going to clean the shelves before I put them on. I should do it this in a year to see how many I've collected. I'm using these two for now. The random cups are going on the top part. I'm a huge fan of Love Island, so I got the cup and I use it every day. I don't even know why I'm putting it away because I'm going to use it, but the drama on the show is so good. Anyway, that's the first shelf. My Starbucks cups are going on the bottom. These two are staying together, though. I just don't have the heart to separate them. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys are witnessing the start of my Starbucks cup collection. Bye. Part three, it's very echoey in here. Anyways, I don't know what I'm doing. The only thing I know is how I want my shoes organized. So I'm starting there and I'm gonna wing everything out. First, I'm building all the shoe boxes. Really cool, they have a door. I wear a seven and a half, so my shoes are gonna look so small, but it's fine. Twelve more. Five more, I've been here for so long. Finally done, now I'm gonna stack them along the wall. Sorry, I'm just so happy. I don't think I have enough, but we'll see. I brought most of my favorite ones, so let's put them in the boxes. Please enjoy this ASMR by Honey Mama Bear. putting these on top for now. Definitely gonna need more boxes, but it looks so good. Now I'm gonna organize my workout clothes. I've always wanted a workout section, so that's gonna be this side. First I'm putting in these tension rods. The workout sets are going here. Instead of, well, I can't even talk. 3 a.m. again. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna hang these up. Just wow. Um, can't wait to finish everything else. I'll see you in part
Yes. This is the speed I'm talking about. Okay, so wow this mirror is dirty thank you this was not very hard to achieve um i would like to thank all my supporters mom we made it we did it <laughs> i'm gonna go to sleep now you want to know what it's like on inside Let's see if i can make it stand up what that that was easy that was easy Yo, what up? Found more mini first make it minis at Walmart. <laughs> this is where I keep my current collection. I'm excited to make more. Let's start with the multi pack. These are my ingredients, and I have a mini kitchen. Love the little ingredients, they're so cute. Syrup first, strawberries, bananas, chocolate chips. I'm gonna let this set in the mini oven. This has a UV light, but you can also set it in the sun. Well, that's setting, let's make pizza. Cheese first, pepperoni, and pineapple. In the oven you go. These are done, they're so cute. Adding them to my collection. Okay, I have to make a holiday one. It's a gingerbread house, oh my god. Icing, some drops. Look how cute these are. My collection is organized by category of food, holiday, and lifestyle. It's so cute. I just want to make more. I just cleaned my house because I'm resetting it for fall. Last thing I need to do is clean my floor because ew. And then I can decorate. I have a really bad habit of not cleaning my floors as much as I should. It's such a chore. I hate carrying the bucket around and it takes too long. So to motivate myself to actually want to clean my floors, I dumped it Got the new Swiffer Power Mop. I'm also giving one to my mom. I've been using it for a few weeks and I actually mop now. Like I actually like mopping. This is what the pad looks like. It's giving mop without the bucket. I like it because it's easier to carry around and it's so much faster to deep clean my floors now. I'm going to finish mopping and then show you how much it picks up. And this is how much it picks up. I am very embarrassed. This is your sign to get a Swiffer Power Mop. Yo, what up? Started getting my armpits waxed. They have never been brighter or softer. I love it. But I feel like I can do this myself at home, so I'm going to try and make a wax bar. First, I'm putting the wax beans in these containers. Next, the popsicle things. They're going in these jars. Okay, so they don't fit. I'm putting them in these acrylic drawers instead. I like this way better, and I can stack them. I'll just put the waxing strips in the jars. putting the main waxing pot on the bottom and this mini one let's put it on top it's from ulta it's so cute i love this so much oh my god there it is also i got lip filler see you in that video my mom's gonna Grab a mini watermelon, wash it, cut it in half long ways, scrape out the watermelon, eat it or save it for later. Now grab your favorite fruit. If you're using strawberries or kiwis, cut them in smaller pieces. Set that aside, grab a bowl. Okay, wait, can we admire how aesthetic that looks? Wow. Add in two cups of room temp water, four packets of unflavored gelatin. If you want to, you can add in a half a cup of sugar. Whisk it together until it's dissolved. Now boil two cups of water. When it's done, pour it into the mixture. <sighs> Bless you. Mix it slowly, it should look like this. Once you've added in a handful of each fruit, layer it with the mixture. Don't fill it with fruit all the way so that you can leave a layer of the mixture on top. Uh, don't mind my contraption, but leave it in the fridge overnight. I film my videos in real time and I'm tired, so I will see you tomorrow morning. I love you, friend. Also, I think I got gelatin in my belly button. I don't know why I'm telling you that. Part two, I gotta finish putting these on. That took forever. They're on now, let's put them up. A lot of you said I should store these horizontally, which makes sense, so I'll just fix them later, and then I'll update you on my Instagram or something. This is the last one. I'm so excited. <gasps> wow. It's not perfect, but I'm just happy I came out decent. I'm starting to draw on it, and I've already messed up. These markers are not the best, but this is my fifth time doing this, so it is what it is. I'm also making a calendar, which is the main reason why I wanted a chalkboard, and I think it looks really cute so far. Yay! done i went a little overboard with all the colors because i was really excited about them but i love this thing so much and i think i'm gonna redo it but for now this looks great and i can't wait to fill it out
Day two, redecorating my bedroom. The accent wall turned out so pretty, and I also painted around the door as well. Not the best paint job, but it's fixable. I haven't had a nightstand since I was eight years old. Milestones. <sighs> I need somebody to love. Whoa, that really made a difference. Oh my god. I went to Home Goods and I got these super cute lamps. Light bulb check. <laughs> I don't know. Oh yeah. I love plants, but I can't take care of them, so I got a fake plant. My plan is to paint this one the same color as that one. But I'm too lazy, even though the paint is sitting right there. Oh my gosh, I forgot about the bedding. I ordered some new bedding, but it's not here yet. For now, we'll move on to this area. Ugh. Yay! Okay, now I don't know what to do here. There is so much more to do. You and I are going shopping tomorrow, so I'll see you soon. Summer cleaning part five under the kitchen sink part two. Also, Instagram reels is now a thing. I have two new recipes you guys have not seen before. So go follow me on Instagram for exclusive content. And um, I just want to stalk you guys too. So yeah. I'm just kidding, but uh, seriously, um, a couple million of you guys are missing out, but anyways. So I got this like hanger door thing. What is it called? Where's the packaging? Here I'm just putting trash bags and my collection of impulse buy mini cleaning bottles. I mean, come on. That's cute. And on the back, you can hang your cute AF towels. I have another cute basket, which I'm putting in the corner. I'm putting all my disinfecting products in there. Okay, I literally just shoved all the ugly bowl cleaning products in the back. I'm putting my most used cleaners in the front so I can easily access them. And we're done. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh. This looks so much better. Can we just have a look? Bam. Redecorating my bedroom next, so I'll see you soon. Okay, I told my mom not to watch this. Trying to make her a gift basket for Mother's Day. This is also a giveaway, so everything I got my mom is also going to one of you. First, a blanket. Blush bath bomb set. Sol de Janeiro radiance cream. Tree hut sugar scrub. Glow recipe fruit babies. This candle, it smells so good. Found this ring holder, it's so cute. She loves gold, so it's perfect. Makeup headband. Satin pillowcase. Waist scalp serum. Laneige lip mask. Drunk elephant moisturizer, so good. Next reusable under eye patches. I tried these and I love them. I also got the Florence one. Skin gym gua sha. Sorry if I said that wrong. Tart eye brightener. I got so many compliments when I use this, so. Moon lip treatment, also really good. This bracelet set. I love you more bracelet vlogalotti's high ponytail hat it's so cute just in case you want to gift anything i'm sending you these really cute gift bags and that's pretty much it i'm so excited all the info to enter will be on my instagram good luck guys anyways i got this new game called comment below this is how i set it up today i'm playing with bad beat doesn't mind his own business dino i never invite him he just shows up and crazy craig i'll go first start with a profile card we got What's your status? If you're one of the people that have lent me money in the past, please stop asking for it back. I am not paying anyone back. Literally me. And honestly, it was your fault for trusting me in the first place. Let's read the comments. Whoa, you get cell service from Rob Bonner. <laughs> Damn, okay. <laughs> Street status to see from my old son. Teacher, I'm glad to see you're doing you. We gotta do one more. Status. My dog ate a Viagra pill and now he's sprinting around the house aggressively. Anything that moves, I am hiding in the bathroom chair. Oh, the comments. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your toy. Part three, guess what just... That didn't look good. Anyway, guess what just came in? My chair, those poor dogs. Please tell me this will be easy. Okay, almost done. Oh my, this is a lot heavier than I thought. <laughs> Look how pretty this is. I have no words. I'm also filming a YouTube video right now. This is the prettiest chair I have ever seen. And it swivels. Love that. Also, it's really comfy. I'm going to link this on my storefront under office. Everything else is from Typo, like these pens. Like, I don't have enough. I don't have any neon ones. So that's going in there. Next is laptop stand. You can use it like this. When you're done, you can display your laptop like this. It looks so aesthetic on my desk. Definitely my favorite thing. A mushroom lamp. I love the color. Oh, that's cute. A Barbie candle, of course. It smells so good. Also got this one. I like to keep affirmation cards everywhere, so I got these. This everyday notebook to keep on my desk. I love that it's not dated and there's a mood spot. Check. I'm crazy coffee right now. I don't know why I do this, but I have all my notes on my laptop, but I also had to write it down. This flower pen. I'm getting an acrylic calendar, so I got these erasable markers to go with it. Paint set because I'm DIYing some of the wall art in here, and I love the colors. This chunky mug. Lastly, this acrylic clothing rack. Makes me a little emotional. Guys, I got this for something I'm currently working on for you guys. Can't wait to tell you. Let me know what you think it is. Yo, what up? I haven't done laundry in about a month, but I thought it'd be a good idea to refill on the supplies, and maybe I'll be motivated to do it. Please enjoy ASMR by Honey Boba Bear, episode one. Laundry. That's a long title. Next we have scent beads. Oh <laughs> Stain remover. Dryer sheets. Okay, that's everything. Let's put it back in my laundry room. Also, 
thank you for all the love in my last video. I promise I'm okay. I was just really tired. Well, I'm gonna get started on the laundry. Summer cleaning part five under the kitchen sink. Viewer discretion advised. Oh my gosh, my hands are ashy. Hiya! And yeah! It's, it's just bad. I'm laying down a trash bag in case anything falls. I don't want it to get on the floor. Time to get everything out of here. Okay, that just happened. Moving on. Now I'm spraying everything down with Lysol. Sponsor me. Please. My first kiss went a little like this. Hey, yeah. No, like he really threw something at me. Liner, home goods, transition. Ready? <gasps> that was loud. Hey, Google, broadcast. I'm okay. First thing I'm putting in is this drawer organizer, and it's so cute because it opens at the bottom, so I'm putting it on the left side. I decided to put our sponges in the bottom drawer. Super aesthetic. Oh. And on the top drawer, I'm keeping dishwashing gloves. Boop. Next, I'm putting in this cute wired basket. In here, I'll be keeping my rags. I rolled them up because it looks better that way. So far, so good. So much more to do, as you can see. And of course, I run out of time. I'll see you in a sec. I'm going to convince my boyfriend to take me to Yenork. I'd like to see... Yenork? Just kidding. McDonald's. Ba -la -ba. Have not tried the Travis Scott meal. It's like 2 in the morning right now. I don't even care. Let's go to McDonald's. Well, first, I got to convince him to do it. Also, excuse the dead inside look. It's kind of what I was going for, but maybe offensive to others. Yeah. Meet me. Can we go to McDonald's? Right now? Yeah. Well, not now, but like after you're done. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Well, this next scene will let you know if he takes me or not. <gasps> no barbecue sauce, but we have buffalo. By the way, it's the next day, but I had to get some lashes on because I was looking a little scary. My boyfriend literally took half, but it's okay. We're going to try it. We don't have a lot of time yet. Let's do it. Wow! Tastes like a quarter pounder with bacon. Get ready with me for the day. I'm running errands, so I'm going for a more natural look today. My skin is so dry, so I have to do extra steps to revive it. It's a pain sometimes. Too Faced sent me their Born This Way Healthy Glow Skin Tint Foundation. First time I tried this, I was in awe of how glowy it made my skin look, so I very much need this today. I'm using shade Natural Beige. The errands I had to run today are actually fun. Are we seeing that? beautiful literally looks like my skin there used to be a pimple there i'm redoing my entire office which you guys will see it's gonna be so good sorry pause are we seeing this it's like i have nothing on but it's on and there's coverage that's why i love it and has SPF. i already bought a plant for it a fake one because i'm terrible at taking care of plants I'm getting the furniture today so wish me luck with that this is the finished look i like it time to do my hair <sighs> i had a rough day today and i just want to take a bath so i'm gonna show you how i get that I went to the linen closet and brought some towels I'm going to use and hung them up. I folded the liner over the rod and pulled the curtain over just enough to cover where my head's at. It's a comfort thing. I hung a towel down on the edge and here I'm putting a book I'm reading. I turned the sparkle effect on because it makes me happy, but here I'm just putting a blueberry drink I made. I'm finally going to use these. It's a face and lip mask. I'm also going to exfoliate my lips. Time for the water. Blah, 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 blah. The mirror is dirty. While that's running, I'm going to dump in this bubble bath powder. Ooh, this is so cool. Just turned the water off. I got this disco bath bomb I want to try. It smells just like fruit punch. Okay, here we go. I just realized this video sounds so depressing. <laughs> but look, it's an ombre. The bath is now purple and blue, but... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's so cool. This thing won't turn on. Oh, there we go. Yay, boy. Yo, what up? I'm going to try and make a that girl igloo. I don't know how it's still snowing in April, but look at this. Okay, so first I'm building the base. I've never done this before. Maybe I should look it up. It's going good so far. Okay, I think I'm giving up here. I'm gonna try and make a giant snowball. This is what it looks like so far. Now I'm gonna make my niece push it around. Just kidding, she's making me push it. Taking a break and going upstairs. Just gotta clear the last one. Okay, we made it. We're on top of the pool. Okay, so we gotta be this big. This looks good. Oh! Get my hair. Come on anymore. Sit on it. Whoa, look, this fall. Part two, add a little over two tablespoons to each liner. And if you do that, you'll have less to clean. Woo! Preheat your oven to 350. Bake them for 15 minutes. Once you take them out, let them sit until room temperature. Once they're room temperature, I did not eat one, put it in your fridge for four to six hours. And they're done! Yay! Grab some mini Oreos and stick them on the top just like that. Now you know how to make Oreo cheesecake. They look as well day. Let's try it. You mean we don't have milk? Oh, apparently we don't have milk, so I'm gonna have to drink this with ranch. Do you wanna have to do this? Okay, here we go. Oh my god, this is good. Okay, thank you. No problem. Can I get anything that you can make that is yellow? Sorry, it's a weird request. Uh yeah, one second. 
Grande very very hibiscus with extra berries, please. Yeah, one second. You're getting a puppuccino. Looky looky looky. It was so cute. Look at how she eats it. It's so adorable. She like eats it like she's mad. Okay, double chin. No one wants to talk to you. It's a great day. They didn't have grande, so they gave me venti. I'm so excited. Woo! Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, this is the yellow drink. It looks so aesthetically pleasing. What? Okay, anyway, we're gonna try it. It's the ginger drink. Oh! Okay, I'm sorry, but that just tastes like A double S. Like, <laughs> oh my god. Comment what color drink you want me to do next. And that's why you always get very, very hibiscus. Don't. I kiss the dog and I like this. <laughs> Anyone else have an ashy lip problem? Do you? I need help. Can I get a pumpkin spice latte, please? Oh, okay. Can I get it iced, please? Iced? Okay. What size? Let's do a grande. Okay. Berry berry hibiscus refresher with extra berries, please. I just realized that they have a camera right above the speaker. <sighs> I'm embarrassed. Never had a pumpkin spice latte. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm just I'm just kidding. Okay, it's a latte. Okay, that was for a thumbnail. I've never had this before. Let's try it. Oh, I do that with my pinky. Okay! Oh! I like it! I like it! Okay, I like it. I do. But I also love very, very hibiscus with extra berries. Fall deep cleaning my closet day four. Since I don't have an actual linen closet, I use these shelves. I bought this first basket to hold my duvets. These two baskets will hold my pillowcases and my fitted sheets. I don't have time for flat sheets, so they ain't got a spot. This gray basket is going to hold my iron and it has a lid so you won't be able to see it. Yeah. On the same shelf, I'm putting cotton rounds and cotton swabs. I'm also putting makeup wipes here. Literally no point to the shelf. It just looks cute. I rolled up some washcloths and put them in this basket. The next shelves hold my towels. Also, don't be fooled. I bought these towels for three bucks each in hopes you would get inspired by this video. Those are what my towels actually look like. This basket, yay, that used to have a liner in it will hold my toilet paper. Yay, we love them. For the labels, I just tied them to the top of the basket. Wow! The last part of the series will be uploaded tonight. No excuses, I'll see you in a sec. You guys really wanted me to show you how to make this blueberry drink. Fair warning, it is disappointingly easy. Grab a cup, fill with ice, fill the cup with blueberries, pour in some Gatorade, fill it to the top, and that's it. Just uh, fancy your way to enjoy your Gatorade and wash your blueberries. Redecorating my beauty slash filming room. I feel like the series is never gonna end. The shelves are here, let's put them up. Yay! up oh man i'm looking rough i'm working on the fronts of the drawers first and then i'm sorting my skincare by brand this is what the front of the first drawer looks like now i'm organizing the second drawer i'm matching the amount of containers on the makeup side to the skincare side my floor is finally going to be clean let's start filling them also i'm sorry about the audio going from low to crazy loud i think it's happening to more people now so hopefully tiktok is working on that i forgot to film the process but this is what the second drawer looks like I'm doing five containers in this drawer also drop your favorite makeup remover i'm looking to move away from makeup wipes i don't know why i keep using makeup wipes it's so bad for your skin but i heard micellar water is really good so i'm gonna try this this drawer is like the body drawer we have the pumps the sprays and the oils extra body scrubs and after one leg i realize that this is gradual tan can you imagine what my leg looks like right now this one has serums and toners the top one has cleansers and exfoliators i don't know i was just trying to fill the space three more drawers decorating cleaning and i will be done i will see you in a couple of hours grab a bowl pour some chocolate into the bowl melt the chocolate in your microwave and mix every 15 seconds your chocolate should look like this when you're done and i got different colors from amazon yeah. grab your chocolate and place it into the mold you're going to spread it around the walls also you can use whatever molds i'm using pumpkins acorns and cubes once the molds are filled stick them in your fridge for 15 to 20 minutes in the meantime grab a baking pan and fill it with liners they're done once you've taken them out of the molds put them in your pan that is just so cute fill in the bottom half with hot chocolate powder and top them off with marshmallows grab the other half and place it on a warm pan to melt the edges once the edges are melted place them on top just like that put them back into the fridge for about five more minutes take them out and that's it now you know how to make hot chocolate bombs there's the acorn the red pumpkin okay let's just try them here's my warm cup of milk i've decided we're going with blue acorn I hope this opens in time here we go oh oh it's bubbling <gasps> that is so cool yay and it's blue deep cleaning my laundry room part two it's time for my favorite part decorating okay let me get down first i'm gonna fill these jars in the first one we're doing detergent i'm gonna try to pour it all at once oh my gosh cross your fingers for me 
Oh yeah. The second one is going to hold the laundry booster. I cannot do laundry without this stuff. It makes my clothes smell so, so good. And this one is going to hold scent booster beads. There you go. I use about a fourth of a cup for each one of these, so I'm just going to stick this into the jar. I found this really cute jar for the laundry sanitizer, so I'm just going to pour that in. And I'm doing the same for the laundry softener. It kind of looks like milk. I got labels for each of these, so I'm just finishing up the last one. I got this bin. I thought it was perfect to put dryer sheets in. I also got one for kitchen towels. I'm putting these in order of how I use them. So excited! Don't know what I'm going to put there, but this one's going to hold my wallflower. I added this rug, and I'm so happy with the way it turned out. Redecorating my living room part four. I finally figured out the couch and pillow situation, so I'm keeping this blanket. She's not happy I tried to move her. <laughs> now to give it a good butt crack, I decided to keep the black pillow and I bought another one. I'm keeping the pillow I found at Walmart and I took your advice. Bam! Pattern. This is an outdoor pillow from Target. It's so cute and it was only 10 bucks. Okay, just pretend the mess isn't there. Wow, right? Right? This is so cute. I want to start working on the walls and the ceilings, but the stuff I ordered to finish it isn't getting here until Tuesday, technically tomorrow, but I'm going to show you what's in this box instead. I got it at Ikea for $30 and I do have to build it. Let me just show you what it is. So instead of having this or having your shoes on the floor, bam, times two. Look at this. Ah! Oh, they're kind of messy. There we go. Ah! Nobody's going to know. I can't stop doing this. It's fun. <laughs> I'm almost done finding decorations for this area. So far I found this. Isn't it so cute? It's just going to go right there. Yikes. It's like three o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm going to film a haul in a few hours and then I'm going to film part five. So I'll see you in part five. And here's another one of my 3 a.m. purchases. Actually, I woke up at 3 to get to my Starbucks at 5 a.m. I went a little crazy, but it's for the cup collection, so it's fine. The first one I got was this rainbow dome lid. Look at the straw. That's so cute. People are saying this was the pride cup. It's so pretty. Look at the top of this water bottle. They match. And then I got this one. Ah, it's like emerald, right? This is emerald. This one is so... the only one on the shelf and i was first in line you should have seen me i was like Whoa. this reminds me of someone named flo that's what we call hazel when she smiles see doesn't she look like a flo this one is my favorite one same one but different color i got a stainless steel one i don't know i think i did a pretty good job at finding everything now it's time to put it away these were too tall so i had to take the straws out i need to find a better way to display these because i want to see them all but for now i'm obsessed only been gone for two weeks starting with the love of my life poppy shut stop are you i'm standing now because i literally cannot i'm using this as home decor we've been to the future everyone's drinking soda we have some mystery flavors let's try them right now thumbnail okay sorry yo gotta break a nail okay just in case you change to second favorite that's good I don't want to open this but i need to know are these the same Oh, no. It's very similar. I'm drinking all of these, by the way. Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, my. That's good. This is now my third favorite. Those flavors are amazing. Another one from Poppy. They spoil me, I swear. I love them so much. Okay. Thank you so much, Poppy. I love you. The other love of my life, Too Faced. From Disco Crush Eyeshadow. It's beautiful. Close up. Okay. Wow. They sent me so much. Oh, my God. They sent me this cute little planner with my name on it and some essentials, of course. There's more. More essentials. I don't think I've tried this one yet. I'm excited. Thank you again, Too Faced. I love you. I thought it was done. They sent me all of their kissing jellies. If you have not tried these yet, what? These came just in time, especially because I have a boyfriend now. So, they, yeah. They do what they say they're going to do. Next, Pop Flux. Always include personalized little notes. This is Kelly K. First of all, this is so sweet. And Kristen, you have the best handwriting. Look at this. Wow. They spoil me. Let's try this on. Their cloud hoodies are my absolute favorite. Look how nicely this sits. Oh, I love This is going to be so cute on. I'm so excited. They sent more. They literally sent a whole fit. Look at these socks. So cute. Love this color, too. And more. Look how cute this jacket is. Are we kidding? This top, the color... Thank you, Popflex. I love you. No idea where this is from. Ah, another love of my life. Blonde. First of all, they know their audience. This is going to be used every single day. So cute. Watermelon sour gummies. Trying this right now. These people know what they're doing. Munchies protein bars. I'm so excited. I'm not even stop it right now. These these people know their audience. This is happening today. My boyfriend doesn't know this yet, but it's on site when I see him. We're playing this. What is in here that is so good? It's like lemony and... Ugh. It tastes like heaven. No name ones are my favorite. Microban! I've seen this stuff, but I've never tried it. Cleaning my place today, so I'm excited to try it. Thank you, Microban. Oh my gosh, Alani, I love you. I'm telling you right now, they know. 
They just know. They know. Or other drinks to drink. So good. Thank you, Alani. The Alba, Dalpa, Dalpa. Ooh, this is pretty. I've never heard of them, but I'm excited to try. Thank you so much. This is not how you're supposed to wear it, but I just, I don't care. I love it. <gasps> I've been wanting to try this. Future wise, thank you. I'm so excited. This is so cute. I saw it at Target and I was like, I want to get it and I want to try it. Anyways, love. Thank you. I have a special place in my heart for Mirad and they don't even know. The green little under eye patches and cream. You don't even know. It is so good. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Next, Lawless. Also queen size. I didn't even know that existed, but yes, I need. I'm actually wearing this one right now. Thank you, Lawless. Next, Prime. They sent me Cherry Freeze. I'm so excited to try. Thank you so much. Oh my. They sent me pretty much everything. Also, why is this big? I can't find my other one, but size comparison. This is a makeup staple. Everyone should have this in their makeup bag. Benefit, thank you so much. Lastly, First Aid Beauty. The slipper is a candle. I love it. I am planning on giving a lot of that away, so make sure you follow me on Instagram for those giveaways. I love you guys. Thank you so much getting my nails done again this is what i'm asking for or these i can't decide so here's the before just wait for it why do they always just break off i have never wanted to cry coming out of a nail salon first of all they were so rude to me second of all this is how they left me just i mean some of the nails are okay but there's fuzzies and every nail you can kind of see it on this one the thumb is fine but look how bumpy the rest of them are they're literally bumpy they kept burning me with the drill and it took a total of three hours one of them was me waiting in the waiting area my choice it's fine but <laughs> to top it off i have gel top coat you can see it right there kind of all over my hands like all over okay, i just got back they said they would redo it for me oh i don't know what i did like i don't know why they're just being so rude to me but i don't know if i should go back because i just feel so uncomfortable like oh, what do i do okay but don't judge me too hard because there's gonna be some things in here you're gonna be like oh girl no i can do this i can do this i took the filter off okay so first i use the photo finish primer and it's robenian i haven't been able to find the right foundation shade so i just use a pretty vulgar concealer i just kind of do triangles i don't freaking know just triangles <laughs> <laughs> then I end up looking like this and I take a wamp or damp beauty blender and I just you know blend it <laughs> Then I just randomly start doing my brows. So I'm just brushing them up Then I use the gimme brow plus by benefit and I just fill them in with a brow powder <laughs> This is all so wrong Now I'm just contouring my squidward nose and I put highlight on my nose and blend it Oh my god for my eyes. I'm just using this color <laughs> and then when doing lashes I just use this fan to make the drying process a lot faster Elf liquid liner to line. Better than sex mascara on the bottom. Morphe setting spray. Gloss and that's it. Everybody starts somewhere. Part two of the mystery box. I'm taking more of this out. Thank you, Courtney. I needed this. My lips are always so crusty. Ooh, some mascara. <gasps> yes, I'm using this tonight. An eye mask. <laughs> this is so cute. Some jelly bellies. Glitter pens. These are really cool. Another eraser thing. A baby bottle pop. I haven't had these in forever. It's my birthday week, so this is like opening a birthday gift. Oh, a pink chocolate bear. Why was I wrong? This is actually an eyeshadow palette by Revolution. It's so adorable. Some more candy. Strawberry chapstick. Another eyeshadow palette, and it's squishy. What? I found these hearts, and they're full of really cute erasers. A pink tumbler. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. It's a matte pink mug. Another makeup palette, but this one's shaped like a burger. I gotta open it. Are you kidding me? This is now my favorite thing in my makeup collection. Courtney! This is so cute. Thank you. We said a budget of 50 bucks, and this is definitely more than that. Thank you so much. And I... Yikes, I hope you like what I got you. <laughs> Starbucks followed me. Of course, I'm going to celebrate at Starbucks. I'm getting my favorite drink, a new drink to try, and my least favorite drink. Hi, can I please get a very, very hibiscus with extra scoops of berries, please? And then can I get a venti pink drink with salted cream foam on top? Matcha green tea latte with soy milk, please? A matcha green tea. I meant to say salted cream cold foam. I'm so awkward. I hate ordering. I always forget my lines. The car in front of me paid for me. That's so nice. So I paid for the person behind me. It was like 20 bucks, but I don't care. This is my favorite drink. Very bare hibiscus. Extra scoops of berries. Ah, I love it. This is beautiful. Okay, so this is the pink drink with salted cream cold foam on top. Let's try it. Wait, this is bomb. This is 100% my new favorite drink. This one, I'm not even going to take a drink of. I'm just going to give it to my BF. It's his favorite drink. It just tastes like grass to me. I just can't do it. Part two, grab a bowl. Put the rest of the chocolate into the bowl. Microwave the chocolate for about one minute. <laughs> I did not mean to slam that. 10 more seconds and those are not looking good. I'm just gonna take those out anyway. Grab your chocolate and drizzle it over, <laughs> over the cookies. 
Now sprinkle the pink sugar all over. I think I was pretty successful, kind of. I cut one in half so you can see what the middle looks like. It actually looks pretty good. Well, let's try them. Okay, here we go. Mm. I'm in love with the chocolate center. Mm. Wow, these are, these are freaking good. Part two, it's a little too hard. I'm gonna stick it in the microwave for 30 seconds. In the meantime, grab a pan and fill it with cornstarch. Now hold the container upside down, squeeze the bottom of it and try to get the puck out. It should end up looking like this. Now stick it in your cornstarch. Oh my God. Just toss it around in there until it's completely coated. Now form a donut shape and keep squeezing the edges. It's gonna gradually get bigger. Your hands are probably gonna hurt after this, but the end result is worth it. Also, if it gets way too hard, you can just pop it in the microwave for like five seconds. Once it's big enough, you're just gonna make a figure eight and keep going. Got my driver's license last week. After a while, it'll look something like this. Yours will probably look better. And I know how to make <laughs> I know how to make hand pulled cotton candy or dragon spirit. I messed up because I let it sit way too long. I was supposed to wake up at 3:30 a.m. to start pulling it, and I accidentally woke up at 8 o'clock. <laughs> so don't let yours sit for nine hours, and you should be fine. Let's try it anyway. <laughs> I'm trying this again. If you want to stick around for part three, I'll see you. Redecorating my living room, part three. This is how I spent my last two days building this TV stand. And the TV is mounted to the wall. We're getting somewhere. I just organized most of the cables in this drawer and I ordered some stuff from Amazon to hide these ones. It's so cold out here. Now I'm going to spray paint the basket I got from Target. Okay, I'm going to let that dry. I was going to wait to do this, but I can't. I'm just going to reveal the couch and we're going to decorate it. Yikes, this place is a disaster because of this project. So sorry you have to see that. It took me a while to find the right couch because I wanted a specific color and size because I'm picky. But I finally found it and I got it at Costco. And this is Hazel's new spot. I've always wanted an ottoman this big. It's basically a giant dog bed. Okay, I don't think this is going to look good until I clean the rest of my house, but oh well. I thought this blanket was so cute. It's from Target. This pillow is from Target as well. It's from their bedding section. Can you believe I found these at Walmart? What? This is what I came up with and I don't like it as much as I thought I would. I think it's way too plain and it needs pattern or color or something, but I'll come back to the couch later. I'm going to start working on the two sides, the wall and the ceiling. I will see you in part four. Decorating my first Christmas tree, part two. I'm going to unplug this for a sec. First, I'm going to put on the garland. This is the one I chose. Yeet. This is what it looks like so far. As I'm going, I'm brushing the fur the opposite way so it looks more fluffy. All over the world tonight gathers hearts all over the world. Good morning. I fell asleep, but I woke up 3.4 million friends. What? Thank you. I got these pine cone pine needle things, so I'm going to open them up like that. Now I'm just going to stick them into the tree so it looks more full. I'm starting off with black ornaments. The way I like to set up my ornaments is to start with a checkered pattern like I did with the black. See how there's like a diamond? I'm placing the white ones in between. I'm so excited. Now I'm going to put the tree skirt on. Miles, if you're watching this, first, I literally love you. And second, thank you so much for inspiring me to decorate for the holidays early this year. He has the best content, period. So go check him out. And that is it. What? I've always wanted a black and white Christmas tree, and I'm so grateful that this year we were able to get one. I just can't stop looking at it. It's so cute. Trying foods I normally wouldn't start right. Come on, this is <laughs> Never thought I'd be eating a tomato like this. <laughs> Mini peppers. I hope these aren't hot. Hazel with her squeaky toy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe they all taste the same and they're different colors, like Fruit Loops. Strawberry cream cheese with graham crackers. I'm excited for this one because it looks like it's going to be good and hopefully it is. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Life just hit me hard so hard in the last few days and in the middle of my series all freaking rude but I can't sit around and cry in a corner forever we have a room reveal to do this is everything i'm going to decorate with i'm going to start with the wall my dream board is going behind my door and she believed she could so she did it's perfect the theme of my room is a vacation in vegas one because i'm from there and two i miss going on vacations and these palm trees are so perfect i want to get a custom made neon sign but those are expensive so these will do for now shelf number one i have my tiktok skateboard and this cute thingy i'm putting this cute plant on the second shelf basket of blush that I'm standing on this thingy just like that and then a fairy light this plant and a sign that says babe cave so cute and then on this side I have another plant and some makeup brushes and then I have this cool weather predictor a candle and a crystal more random stuff and more fairy lights these are from Ikea by the way blush 
show blah 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 hi morphe love you <laughs> what is this doing open you guys told me to get a rug so i did and this is my new chair look at that pattern it just screams casino let's turn this on cue the music <laughs> mom i'm thick I went to Ulta, <laughs> this video is not sponsored by the way, and I got the lip injection maximum. I really wanted to try it. My feathers are falling. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it burns. <laughs> it burns for about four to five minutes, but I think I like it. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I look like in portrait mode. Grab some Oreos. I got the holiday ones and I'm gonna use six. Set those aside, grab another bowl, or however many you want, and pour in some chocolate. I'm using white and red. Put them in the microwave until melted. Mix after thirty hold on. Okay, that's microwave safe. Mix after every 30 seconds. The good thing I double checked because they're not safe for microwave use. That could have been bad. Now that you have your melted chocolate, place your Oreo on a fork and dip it into the chocolate. Like that. While your chocolate is still warm, you're gonna stick mini Reese's pieces to the top of them like that. Now grab some mini M&Ms and start decorating. Put them in the fridge for about 20 minutes. Yay! Okay, time to take them out. Now you know how to make Oreo ornaments. Let's try them. Okay, here we go. Holy sh- Holy moly! Mm, these are really, really good. I like this. I'm so glad I tried these, and they're so pretty. Like, look at that. They're the perfect holiday snack. Grab a bowl, add in one cup of flour, one teaspoon of sugar, one teaspoon of salt. Can you chew with your mouth closed, please? Set that aside, grab a grater, and a block of cheddar. Yay! Use the side that looks like this. This is gonna look like a lot, but if you were to squish it all together, it would be able to fit in this one cup. Add in your one cup of cheddar, and mix it. Now add in four tablespoons of butter, and two tablespoons of water. Now mix that all together, it's easier if you use your clean hands. If it's still crumbly like this, add more water. When you're done, it should look like a ball of Play-Doh. Preheat your oven to 375. Line a pan with parchment paper. Roll out your dough, you're gonna want it pretty thin. Frequently push in your edges so you can avoid the cracks. Carefully transfer that over to your pan. With whatever you have, I was lucky to have this, cut out little squares. And then, I think you already know where this is going, poke little holes into them. Bake for about 10 to 15 minutes. Let them cool for about five to 10 minutes, and now you know how to make homemade Cheez-Its or cheese crackers. Let's try them. Okay, here we go. Besides the thickness, they literally taste like a cheese. Ah! Grab a bowl. Do you guys like it? I got a new one because I broke all of mine. You'll need one and one fourth cup of flour. This is from a while ago, but I'm still laughing at the fact you guys think my mom looks like Cardi B. One fourth cup of sugar. One teaspoon of salt. Add in one stick and a half of butter. Break it up into pieces before you add it in. Mix it all together. It's easier to use your hands. Halfway through mixing, add in four crushed graham crackers. Set that aside. Grab a baking dish and spray it with Pam. Palm. I don't know what to say. Place your dough in and pack it down. Preheat your oven to 350 and leave it in there for about 20 minutes. Grab a cup, fill it with caramel. That's about 45 pieces or one bag. Put it in your microwave for 30 seconds. Then add in one third cup of heavy whipping cream. Back in the microwave, mix every 15 seconds. It helps if you stir kind of fast, but trust the process. Eventually, you'll get something that looks like this. Now spread the caramel all over the first layer. Try to spread it out evenly. Leave it in your freezer for about two hours to set. I'm going to let that sit. I got to run some errands anyway, so I'll see you in part two, which will be uploaded tonight. I just need a little bit of time to film it. Look at all this mess. Grab a bowl. I'm missing a nail. Add in about a half a cup of salt, half a cup of flour, and about a fourth of a cup of water. Mix that together. You may need to add a little bit more water, but you're going to want it to look like this. Set that aside. You can use a cutting board. I'm just using my counter and sprinkle flour all over. R-I-E. Now place the salt dough on top. Cover the salt dough with the flour and mix it around for a good minute. When you're done, your dough should be pretty firm. Lay it on your counter and pat it. Grab a rolling pin or a cup if you don't have one and roll out the dough until it's about a half an inch thick. Okay, now you're gonna grab your pet that was just sleeping and you're gonna put their paw on it just like that. Good girl, you did it! I kinda wanna do two. Now I'm gonna do one. Good girl! Okay, let's clean your body. Okay, we've decided on two. Really quick, preheat your oven to 200 degrees. Grab a cup, use it as a cookie cutter to cut out the paws. I almost forgot, make a hole at the top, put it on a baking sheet and bake it for about two hours. I baked mine for an extra hour, now I'm just painting it. Now you know how to make a paw print ornament, let's put it on the tree. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Good job, baby. Fall cleaning part, I don't even know anymore, the closet. Viewer discretion advised, hey, yeah! <laughs> this is horrible! <laughs>
but it's fixable. <laughs> First, I'm gonna start by taking everything out of the closet. I cleared my office space, so everything is temporarily going here on the floor. I'm starting with the floor first. Sorry if you see anything embarrassing. Everybody has chonies, okay? This will be load number five. The floor's done. Now I have to take out all of this stuff. But first, I'm gonna do a load of laundry. I use a fourth of a cup of detergent and put it into this little compartment. Next, I use the blue downy and put it into here. Cheers. I don't even know why I said that. Next, I use these scent booster beads and I sprinkle them all over. Laundry booster. I know it's a lot, but this is how I get my clothes to smell so good. And lastly, some laundry sanitizer. Woo. I wish I had one of those fancy washing dryers, the ones with like the touch screen, but this will do. This is great. This does the job. Back to the closet. I'm gonna start with the top section. <laughs> I am over it. Period. This shelf is now cleared. There we go. <sighs> I knew this was gonna take a while. I'll be back. Um, yeah, I can explain. <laughs> I had to push everything that way so it wouldn't look as bad, but that did not work. So I'm gonna try and reset my entire closet. First, I'm taking everything out. I'm gonna have to sleep on the couch. I already know. Okay, this side is great. That side, oh my god. Okay, it's finally empty. Now I'm gonna make a keep and donate pile. I kept some of this because of the memory, so I'm gonna try really hard to let those go. Okay, I'm finally done. This is what I'm keeping. And the donate pile is over there. I really wanna pick stuff out, but I just never wear them, so I'm hoping someone else can enjoy them, but I'm gonna miss them. Why am I like this? Before I put it all back, I have an idea for this closet. I'm putting in new lights everywhere, and I bought a bunch of organizing stuff. Most of it gets here tomorrow, so I'll see you in part two. Yo, what up? I'm making a DIY hot chocolate bar. This is where I'm gonna put it. First, I gotta clean it. Yay! Let's clean! I took everything off the counters, now I'm just spraying and wiping it down. I have an idea of what I want it to look like, but let's build the foundation. Starting off with this two-tiered tray. Next, I'm putting down these mini wooden pallets to use as a base. I can't wait to show you what I'm using the smaller ones for once it's all done. Using this dish rag to put underneath the bases for decoration. We got a vibe! I don't have any rhythm. Next, I have these $3 pumpkins. This one's fine, but this one says Happy Halloween. I decided to paint this one white. I'm gonna set it over here to dry before its next coat. Time to fill the bottom tier. I was going to fill it with these cups, but then I saw those. 28.5 KMUC. Where are my Vegas babies? Where are my Vegas babies? Anyways, that's what that looks like. I bought these disposable cups in case I wanted something to go. Now I'm gonna fill these little containers with sleeves, lids, and stirring sticks. Oh, yum, yaddy. Oh, that's what it looks like so far. I can't wait to use these little things and fill those jars. And do stuff with that. If I do a part two right now, I'll be up till four in the morning. Good night. Part two, this is everything I have to build. So excited for these two. This is gonna take me so long. Well, please enjoy this day tomorrow by Honey Bob Bear. Look how cute these cube drawers are. You can put them anywhere and the drawers just pop out. Oh. I'm gonna put them on this shelf. This is what I was building. Way better than the cube thing I had. This always happens to me. I was trying to save my laptop with it and now it's stuck. Got it. Found this at Home Goods. It's so pretty. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for, but it's going up here. Ta da! So pretty. Okay, and this is my new desk. I got it from CB2. It is my dream desk. It's so pretty. I need your opinion. Should it go here, here, or there where I had it? Next, I'm doing a haul of what I bought for the office so far. Then we'll keep decorating. I have to fill those drawers. I can't wait to organize them. Not excited for that, but when it's done, it'll be worth it shopping for one thing and came home with so much more haul so this is the reason i left my house mouthwash it's really cool i gotta fix that I got the 35g palette by morphe it's so pretty and the morphe 2 concealer also if you want to support me next time you shop at morphe use code glamfam 1650 for five dollars off your next ten dollar or more purchase wow. Oh, that's pretty. I got a makeup sponge. Kylie did a restock on her birthday lip balm, so I had to get those. I will be repurchasing this set just for these three. They smell amazing. My favorite is the watermelon, and then these. This one just smells like old, like my grandma's house. It's not a bad smell. It just, I don't know how else to describe that. And then this one. Imagine leaving a peach on your counter and leaving for vacation for one month and coming back and taking a whiff. That's yeah. better than sex mascara because I'm always running out. A watermelon sugar scrub. I'm addicted to these. This necklace with a K on it for my name. Anti-frizz hair wipe. Shave cream and peel off mask. I heard they were really good. This lotion super thin. That's why I like it And here's everything else because I'm out of time. Um, yes, I've been waiting for this one I'm just gonna show you my whole setup. I don't talk about this or I really don't talk about it at all But I'm actually a master esthetician. It's basically someone who works and specializes in skincare. It's super fun I do chemical peels micro needling lash extensions facials anything to do with skincare I probably do so if you want to see any of those setups, let me know. This is my wax pot It's by satin smooth. You can put two wax pots in it. Also, excuse my dry scaly hands It happens every winter from Amazon to keep a pot of hard wax and soft wax here. It also comes with this thing that clamps onto the wax pot so that you can change them out easier. My favorite soft wax right now is this aloe vera one. It's also by Satin Smooth, so you can get them on Amazon. My most used wax supply is in here. And I keep my most used waxes in here. Like this one is from Amazon. This one is from Sally's. It's like almost empty. This one I got at Sally's as well. It's my favorite for Brazilians or bikini waxes. I haven't found a good hard wax yet, so I'm trying these samples out by Idle Wax or Idle Wax, so I'll let you know how they do. And to show you the rest of my setup, I'm gonna do a part two. Oh my gosh, part three. Let's hope I do it right this time. I'm so determined. Okay, I got my sugar, corn syrup. Oh my gosh. And, oh, colored water. And I remembered a teaspoon of vinegar this time. And 
for mixing. Ah, okay, let's pour that in carefully. Oh my gosh. Ooh, there we go. Sorry, don't know why I'm breathing so heavy. I messed up again. I was supposed to <laughs> got distracted and let it get to 280 degrees instead of 269. No! Okay, I'm going to try this one more time. Good morning, everyone. Giving up is not an option. Colored water. Very carefully. I'm staying right here this time. It's gonna work. Okay, I formed the donut. I don't understand why it's hard in some spots. This is what I have so far. This is the last time I'm doing this. I'll see you in part four. I need more sugar. Redecorating my beauty slash filming room for the second time, part two. I'm so excited because I was able to find everything I needed to finish this closet today. I have to build a couple of things, but first I'm going to put up my cloud lamp. This is so cute. I got it off of Amazon in case you wanted to get one too. I've sorted all of the hardware. Now I just have to build it. Finally, it's one in the morning. I have one more thing to build. One hour later, now I'm going to install these LED puck lights. I found these at Target and they're really cool because they're touch activated. Since I have wired shelves, I just took some tape and wrapped it around three wires. I did that so the double-sided tape on the light has something to grip onto. I'm just working with what I have. Oh my gosh, this is what they end up looking like. I love it. Now I have to put everything back. The only thing I know is that my nail cart is going in this corner. It's three in the morning. I'm going to go to sleep. <laughs> and organize this when I wake up. I'll see you in part three. I promise I'll hurt. I want to scream, but I won't. I'm going to turn my hot chocolate bar into a smoothie bar. First, I got to get everything off the counter. Oh, now I'm just spraying and wiping everything down. And we're cleaning. Yeah, cleaning. This is the new tiered shelf I got. It's so cute. Got these cute candy jars. You can find them on Amazon. Let's fill them. I'm filling the first jar with taro powder. This one with boba. <laughs> Vanilla ice cream protein powder. This one is getting filled with oats oh, and chia seeds. I'm putting the jars on the top shelf. I'm using another jar for dried mangoes and dried strawberries. These smell so good. These are going on the bottom shelf. This jar that I found for honey is so cute. Oh my gosh. I'm filling this one with super greens powder. I love this in my smoothies. I'm putting my magic bullet on the side here. I use it all the freaking time. It's so old. <laughs> this is the last cup I have. I might as well put it here. Okay. Wow, oh my gosh, am I in a Pinterest ad? I almost forgot the scoops. Also, I wanted to say hi to all my new friends. We're almost at 4 million. Thank you so much for following me. Redecorating my room, day three. This wall is so empty. So I go to Hobby Lobby and I see these. I really love them, but they're $89.99 and they say gather. So I'm going to make them on my own for 20 bucks. I'm going to start this off with a matte black. Let's hope I don't mess this up because I only have one chance to do this. I mixed together this really pretty forest green and I outlined where I wanted the wreath to be. Got a bit carried away because it's like two in the morning. Um, This is what I have so far. I'm adding more leaves so it doesn't look like a cartoon. I tried to outline the word cozy. Um, I think I ruined it, but we'll see. It's three in the morning and it's actually cute. Got this glow in the dark paint and I'm going to outline the word cozy. I'm going to let this dry and put on the second coat of glow in the dark paint tomorrow because it's not looking really good right now. <laughs> meantime let's decorate the nightstands this one says home and this one says love i got this garland at target i'm putting it by the tv <laughs> okay okay we're getting somewhere it's literally four in the morning i don't know what to do with this plant i named craig so i'll see you tomorrow well today after i go to sleep he won't give me the box okay here's the box thank you we have been waiting a wait, long wait, time wait, for wait, this wait. so make a video of you doing whatever's in the box all right and you know what that i'll give you the last thing there's a last thing. There's a last thing. Oh my god. Here's the first thing you had me do, which painting this plant made no sense. Here's the box. I'm kind of scared. Yeah, I'm so confused. As I'm going through the box, I've been finding these charms. So far, I found a camera and a lightning bolt. I'm just going to shake them so they all fall to the bottom. I found these, and the middle one is my birthstone. Ah, yo, it's Craig! And I found a cat and some words. I found a cute little globe and a crown. I'm making a charm bracelet. Yay! I've laid everything out to how I want it to go. First one down, now the globe. Now, these ones are really hard because I have to open and close them with my teeth. Are almost done. The only one I know for a fact is that this one means boo. Thank you for my charm bracelet. Can I have my next thing? No. Yo, what up? I got two packages in the mail today and we're gonna open them! They're from Boba Bao Slimes. Thank you so much. I love the packaging. I think we're gonna open up the lighter one first. I haven't seen what's inside yet, so I'm super excited. <gasps> no way! This is so cute! I love jelly beans! And we have 20 flavors. I'm opening this right now. The Boba plushie! Get it, honey? Boba bear? The last thing in here was candy cane ice cream and it comes with a little cone. Time to open the second box. This one is really heavy. 
Oh, it's a note. This is what the note says. Thank you so much, Christy. And there's a holiday restock on December 12th. See what's in the bow. Oh my gosh. We have brown sugar boba. I think this is for the DIY slime. Yup, I can't wait to play with that. This one is called the North Pole. I think this is crunchy slime. I've never had a crunchy slime. And this one is called Baby Yoda Boba. Eggnog cheesecake. And this one is Christmas cookie bars. I can't wait to smell this one. A slime cookie. I want to eat it, but I know I can't. This is a really cute bag. Let's see what's inside. I've never played with slime before, so come back for part two where I try slime for the first time. Yo, what up? I'm going to try and make a Valentine's Day drink bar. This one's going to be the best one I've ever done. First sprinkles. Last one's going to have marshmallows. Now I'm gonna fill the jars. First one's gonna have hot chocolate bombs. This one's gonna have cotton candy. Lastly, these cute little pretzels. Now I'm gonna fill the smaller ones. First one's gonna have mini pretzel hearts, heart-shaped marshmallows, and truffles. Now I'm gonna set everything up. Typo said this to me. Look how cute this is. I'm gonna fill it with these conversation hearts. <laughs> this is also from Typo. It's a mug tree. And then these are from Target. So cute. <laughs> this is so cute. Let's add some flowers. Drink stirs. Okay, here it is all finished. Only the best drink bar I've ever done. Love, 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 love. Thanks, bye. Spend the day with me in Vegas. Today we're doing a lot, but it's gonna be much. Okay, I'm gonna show you my outfit. Also, I'm actually from Vegas, so coming here is like going home to me, so love it. Um, this is my outfit. This hoodie thing is from Bomi or Bomb. I don't know how to say it. Nike Sports Bra. These jeans are from White Box. I love the little cutouts in the back, and then they're plain in the front, and Uggs. <coughs> this is my bag, and then should I do like these sunglasses? Or these ones? First, we're going to Cafe Lola. We both got eggs and toast. Well, something so worth thing. Apparently, there's a selfie. Ooh, so cute. Next, we're going to Joe's. We're at this place where we get this coat. Everything here is made of ice, even the cup. So many flavors. Got Colombian coffee. We're on Colombia. It's gonna be us in just a second. Now, we're going to Pandora. We're gonna get a matching charm bracelet. Which one should we do? Bringing some charms. Going with the angel wing. I'm actually, wording on the back of it that says, I will always be there. Also, getting a thrift for our other sister. Oh, cute. Black says, I will always be there. Yay. Now, we're at a lantern festival. Hopefully, I don't drop my phone. So if you know me, you know I love corn. Elote. It's hot Cheetos on it. Looks really good. If I dropped my phone. It's gone. Okay, I'm going to try and build this really quick. Now we're writing all our hopes and dreams on this paper. This read on mine. My dad's quote. We just let them go. It's karaoke in this Uber. This is so sick. It calls it Uber. Todd for Uber. Now we're at Cleaver's for dinner. Got the filet mignon. Pork belly mac and cheese. Fried egg and asparagus. New York strip steak. I can't sit on the fact that our pop tart is not a toaster strudel. I would like to personally apologize to anyone who has ever asked me if I've had a toaster strudel because I haven't. <laughs> because it's not a pop tart! <laughs> Mom, what is this? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <gasps> Icing! Oh, fancy! I'm gonna get my first experience on camera. Mm. Okay, here we go. What? Let's go shopping. So today I'm shopping for a highly requested fall decorating video and I decided to take you guys along with me. By the way, this is my first time filming a voiceover video, so let me know if you guys like this style of content. And oh, here I didn't realize I filmed myself going to the dog toy section. Well, there we go. I, I spoil my dog a lot. This, hands down, was my favorite section. I love modern tropical decor. Bruh, do you want to go to Marshall's tomorrow? Comment where you want to go and let's do it. Redecorating my living room part six. I found a rug. Not that one, that one. And I found everything else to finish this today. It's a gray and white rug from Ikea. I don't know how to 
pronounce it, so I'll just have to show you. Staying Jerem? I don't know, but it's perfect. Now I'm gonna work on the two sides. I found these at TJ Maxx. I know they're for plants, but I'm gonna use them for my lamps. Yes, I think it looks so much better higher up. Now I can decorate in front of it. I got this at Home Goods. I'm adding this plant because it makes me feel like I'm on vacation, and that's basically the theme of this whole living room. I'm debating whether I should paint this or buy a whole separate planter. We'll see. Now I'm adding this thing, and I ordered a small blanket to put on top of this to break the colors up. That's it for the right half. I did the same thing on the left side, and I'm adding this basket for blankets. I like to roll my blankets up before I put them in. Ah, so cute! They look like gray cinnamon rolls. I can finally start decorating the TV stand. I'm leaving this over here. Everything is Love Island inspired. I have a problem. Somebody watch it with me. I also got some fairy lights to put into each of these. I'm doing a separate reveal video this time because last time I didn't have enough time to show you my room. But at least you'll be able to see what it looks like during the day and nighttime. I will see you tomorrow. So my boyfriend comes up to me and says, paint this plant. When you're done, bring it to me. I have something for you. So I paint the plant. And then he gives me this box <laughs> filled with all these little charms and I get to make my own charm bracelet. Does he tell me what they mean? No, he does not. And then my tongue is red from all the Cheetos I ate. <laughs> Then, when I bring that to him, he gives me this box and tells me to paint that. He finally gave me the last thing! Look at it! And as always, I'm supposed to film myself opening this, and I'm scared. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I'm scared. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought it was an engagement! <laughs> well, guys. I guess we have to wait till Saturday to find out. So I have a wire, a chain, and this key. It's hard to see, but I wrapped the coil around the key. And here's a necklace. It's so pretty. I am not a patient person. And I don't know what any of this means. I don't want to wait. Till okay, let me tell you what I found. I went to Walmart. Walmart, yeah, Walmart. Um, They're already on the counter. I still want to eat, so we're going to pretend. Yay! We're going to make galaxy stuffed cookies. And I have a lot of stuff right here. I'm just a little concerned. I don't see any purple. Oh, well. ah, do not scroll. Do not scroll. Okay, let's come back over here. Ugh. Grab a bowl. You'll need two tablespoons of softened butter and two tablespoons of water. It says to add in the blue mix first. Whisk it until it looks like this and I just transferred it to another plate. Do the same thing with the purple. Now freeze the dough for 20 minutes. <laughs> this is so messy. Roll them into logs like this and then twist them together. They're gonna end up looking like this. Okay, I cleaned up. It comes with chocolate. Cut the halves into halves and then place them in the middle like that. Damn right. It's better than yours. Preheat your oven to 375. Preheat your oven. Cover the chocolate with the rest of the dough. Put them in your oven for about 12 minutes. I'll see you in part two because I don't have any more time left and it's already up. So yeah. Redecorating my living room part five. All of the lights I ordered off of Amazon are finally here. I'm so excited because it's gonna look so good. First I ordered these Philips Hue lights and I found these really cute lamps at Ikea that I'm gonna put them in. I'm putting one at the very top and bottom for each lamp. I am on the floor now. Where is my inhaler? I'll show you the whole thing at the end. It's gonna be worth it. Now I'm gonna work on these LED strip lights. This first box is going behind the TV. I really hope I'm doing this right, especially with the corners. Please tell me there's a better way. You know what? I'm just gonna trust the process. The second box is going behind the TV stand. Oh my gosh this is so cool i told you it was gonna be worth it so all i have to do now is hide all of those cables yikes then put a rug down and all of my decorations so i will see you in part six yo what up it's time i redecorate the hot chocolate bar so yeah that's what i'm gonna do first i'm gonna take everything off the counter oh cow this is heavy look at this pine cone living its best life is this real now that everything is moved out of the way, I'm going to wipe this area down. I'm starting off with this mini tree skirt I got at Michael's, and I'm just placing the tray on top. I love candy canes, so I'm filling up two jars full of them. Eventually, one of these will be filled with the Jolly Rancher ones. I'm filling this jar with mini M&Ms and peanut butter cups. Now I'm just refilling the hot chocolate powder. Holiday Oreos! I just labeled everything with the chalk marker, and now I'm going to put everything on the top tier. I'm going to fill the bottom tier with these really pretty mugs. I'm using this as a base. On that, I'm putting these stirring sticks. I stuffed the bottom with paper towel. It kind of looks like snow, and it keeps them standing. These are my chunky coasters. I'm putting my clock on top of them. Look how cute the sparkly tree is! I bought these paper straws that look like candy canes, and I can't find them. And they were supposed to go in here, so I'm just putting pine cones in there. I don't know. I'm putting these really cute candles in the front. And one. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. Yo, what up? I'm bored, so I'm going to show you what I keep in my skincare fridge. I don't know why, but opening this is fantastic. On the top shelf, I have a brightening eye cream that I actually haven't tried yet. Then I keep these Starface Hydro Stars. They're for pimples. It comes with a little mirror, and this is what the stars look like. Another eye cream by Saturday Skin. 
I've been obsessed with this cream. I haven't yet used it cold, but I'll keep you updated. This watermelon mask and a lip and face mask. On the bottom, I keep this ginger and vitamin C serum shot. Another vitamin C serum. Okay, don't judge me. I was curious to see what primer would feel like if I kept it in the fridge and oh my God, it feels amazing. Next, we have a moisturizing cream. Another moisturizer, because I like to switch things up if you can't tell. This hyaluronic acid. The Kylie Skin Vitamin C Serum. Another vitamin C serum. This one has watermelon, green tea, and pineapple. This is one of my favorite products by Clinique. It's the hydrating jelly. And then this replenishing serum. It looks like a baby bottle. Is it just me or... <laughs> Yo, what up? I'm going to be ordering the prettiest Starbucks drinks I saw on Pinterest. Let's do this. Oh, yeah, I'm going to screw this up. Let's hope they're having a good day. Hi, can I get a venti pink drink with vanilla cold foam on top? And then can you add an extra scoop of matcha in the vanilla cold foam? Yeah. And then can I get a venti passion tango tea with soy milk instead of water and two scoops of blackberries, please? I screwed it up. I screwed it up. It was just so much to remember. What? Wow. Okay, so this is the first one. There was more pink in it, but Hazel knocked a drink over and I had to clean that up really quick. So over time, the green just meshed in with the pink. Anyway, it doesn't sound like it tastes good, but let's try it. Mm, I give it a 5 out of 10. This is the second one. It's so pretty. <sighs> Do you guys want a part two? Yo, what up? This is a video I never thought I would ever make, but I'm gonna show you guys my laundry routine. First, I bring the laundry basket down. Yaddy, 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 yaddy. Okay, we're at the laundry room now. I'm just gonna throw the clothes in. I'm mainly doing dark clothes right now. There we go. This is all in order. I start with the detergent. My washer has a pull-out tray. For a large load like this one, I usually do a fourth of a cup of detergent. And then about a fourth of a cup of laundry booster, and I just sprinkle that all over the clothes. For the scent beads, I use a little less than fourth of a cup, and I sprinkle that all over as well. For the softener, I kind of just eyeball it, but it goes in this blue compartment right here. Let's see if I can... There we go. I also eyeball the laundry sanitizer, so you can give it a little one-two. I've only ever used one setting, and that's cotton normal. Whee! already dry from earlier but i gotta clean the lint dry i don't know why i just love cleaning this thing keep all of my dryer sheets in this box if i did need to dry anything i would just pick one up throw one in and start the dryer i just love it in here now that it looks nice yo what up i'm gonna show you how to make your bed look and feel exquisite this is my bed right now plain and boring just like oatmeal first thing i'm doing is removing everything off my bed Yay! we're removing yes removing Tip number one, get a mattress cover. This is going to help you with allergies. I don't have time for a flat sheet, so I only use a fitted sheet. Then I'll get a fabric spray and spray it all over the bed. I like to use the down comforter system. So here's my down comforter in the middle, and I protect it with the down comforter protector. Then on top of that, I'll use my decorative duvet. And this one's super cute. I got it from Amazon. And it comes with two pillowcases. The easiest way to put this on is doing the rolling method. So flip your duvet inside out. Set your duvet on top and start rolling it towards the bottom of the bed. Tuck your duvet ends in like this and start unrolling. To make your bed appear super fluffy, fold down small and then big. These are my pillows. I make sure they all get lined with the protector. I try to use jersey knit or satin fabrics because they feel the best. You can make any bed look comfy with faux fur. Literally, yay! Two blankets on the end. Or fold them nicely. Don't forget the butt crack on your pillows. And that's it. Wow. Part two with Hazel. Jump charms. Hazel's trying to eat them. Butt legs. I'll sit in too long. They sent me so much. I'm so excited. This is my favorite cup. Charm goes on the cup. Hearts or stars. Why not both? Charm charms. <laughs> Thank you, charm charms. Flex. <laughs> I love them. I love I got them. I love them. I'm sweating. Love the little personalized note. I'm going to keep this for the rest of my life. There's so much in here. Cue the fashion show. I'm going to live in this. You can also wear it like this. Bam. There's a lot back. It just, it's gone. It's gone. Where is it? <laughs> Thank you, Pop Flex. Kiehl's. I can't open it. Pinky up. Powerful strength, lime reducing, and dark circle diminishing vitamin C eye serum. Hyaluronic acid. Excited to try. Thank you, Kiehl's. Typo sent me this candy dispenser. I love them. And these bags. Thank you, Typo. That's it. Wash your hands. Grab a bowl. Add in about a half a cup of frosting. <laughs> and one cup of powdered sugar. Mix that together. I'm just using a spoon. About halfway through, you can start using your hands to mix. I'm going to do the same thing with another color. Okay, hold on. Mix until you can hold it in your hand. And that's it. Now you know how to make DIY Play-Doh. I'm going to mix the two colors. Ha ha ha. I'm making purple. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is fun. Now you want a taquito? No problem. I got you. Hold up. One second here. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> here you go. Oh, you want something to drink with that? No problem. This is our specialty cup. 
it's gonna be $59.99, but it's fine. You pay for gas, right? Here you go. <laughs> tomorrow, I'm gonna show you how to make the coolest thing, I think. I'll see you tomorrow. Look at my PJ set, it's so cute. I got it at Target. Anyway, I wanna see what I look like with freckles. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. This is something I would normally do on my own, but I thought I'd record it. <laughs> Making s'mores after this, by the way? I just got a foot cramp. I don't know. I don't know. I'm using the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. I want to do another concert on Instagram. Should I? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, this is close. Okay. Oh my gosh, that scar right there. I got bit by a dog when I was younger. Okay, I gotta have a steady hand. Oh, okay, well, oh man, now I'm just tapping it in. Bye bye, pores bronzer. Just all over, we're experimenting. A Cosmetics is doing things with these two. Okay, just a little bit. Hold on, just wait for it. A little bit of base. Well, you can't really see the. Oh, mm. Cool. I've been wanting to try this. Grab a water bottle, cut a hole on each end, and tie a string to it. Grab some fiber fill. I'm using an old pillow. Pop glue small pieces to the bottle. It'll look something like this. Grab some LED lights and put them in on the side. Now you know how to make a cloud lamp. Wow. <laughs> spring cleaning, even though it's not spring, the bathroom part two. Woo, it's time to decorate. I just picked out the ornaments I want to use. I'm going to use what's left for a future DIY video. I chose the glitter ones. I'm putting hooks on them and setting them to the side. I'm just keeping the same shower curtain because I like that it's white and I'm hooking the ornaments onto the rings. As I'm putting these up, I realized I forgot to change out the hooks, so they're just going to stay blue. I just hung this up. It is temporary. The one I actually ordered hasn't come yet. Oops, but I kind of like it. For the main towels, I decided to go with a dark gray. And then I got this hand towel set that has snowflakes on them. I just folded them over like that. I think it looks super cute. I made this glitter pine cone decoration. I'm putting that on top of the toilet. For the towel ring, I did white with a gray snowflake towel. At the top of the sink, I'm adding this candle, this frosted cranberry soap, and this lotion dispenser. I'm also going to try this toilet bowl light. I don't know how I feel about it, but here we go. Oh, that's cool. I've never had memory foam bath rugs. These were like five bucks at Home Goods, but I am obsessed now. Wow. Ah, I love the way this turned out. It is so cute. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you in episode two. You guys love when I unbox things that TikTok has sent me, so here's another one. I'm so grateful to have been invited to this event where we celebrated Latinx Heritage Month. This is what it looks like when you open it. Oh my gosh, I'm literally keeping this box forever. First, there's this card with a thank you letter on the back. Then we have some colored pencils with super cute packaging and a book. It's a coloring book. I'm totally going to use this when I get bored at work. They also hooked it up with the merch. And the back just says Familia Latina. And there's this. I'm going to lay it out for you. Okay, that's so cute. There's a little tab and there's a downstairs. They sent us a baggie with snacks, but I already ate them because the event already happened. Underneath here, there is a blend jet and it's pink, my favorite color. We needed the blender for an activity. We were making dulce de leche and it says familia latina and that's what it looks like when it turns on. It's super cool. And here they sent us all the ingredients to make it. Here's the recipe in case you want to screenshot it and those are all the ingredients you need. Next they sent us once upon a coconut water and then the same thing but it includes caffeine. That is everything. Thank you TikTok. Yo what up I'm back at Disney. This time I'm doing two bags and giving it to two random people. First one's gonna be Halloween themed. Look at this bag it's so cute. I have to get them this. The candle I kind of want one. Candy corn bucket. Mickey pumpkin ears. Oh my god. This won't fit in the bag but it's fine. Rice krispies. I found this light up necklace. Yes. I just found this bag I'm getting it for me. Second bag is my favorite. Look at the front. Hopefully I can fit everything in here. First this candle it smells like apple. My favorite Starbucks cup it's beautiful. Not gonna close. Okay, wallet, you know, socks and a matching hat, little Pluto, his collar matches the cup, Rice Krispies, this Lido pen, I don't know, and chocolate coins, these are so good. Okay, the bags are done. Let's go find people to give them to. Hi, so I make... <laughs> Next Pluto, say bye. Bag and I want to give it away, and I just want to give this... <laughs> bye, Pluto! That was so much fun, oh my gosh. Definitely doing more when I come back next week. I'm going into a five below for the first time. They have makeup, clothes, so much candy. Oh my gosh. They have a party section. Look at this disco ball. This is so awkward. I was being followed majority of the time I was shopping, which was kind of fun, but awkward because that's never happened to me before. Usually they say hi and leave. I literally didn't know what to do. But if you're watching this, sorry for being awkward. They had the mini washing machine and I just had to get it. How cute is that? I got the disco ball for my IG story concerts. If you don't know about those, go to my highlights. This is what I'm most excited for. Yeah. I got a yoga dice, cup noodles, and Oreo lip balm. Why are these so cute? Makeup removing cloth, squishmallows. I was really bored, okay? Aw. Are you serious? A back scratcher keychain. <laughs> and the 
this board game. Yeah, I don't know. So my boyfriend comes up to me and hands me this plant, white paint, and three brushes. <laughs> All he says is make a video of you painting this plant, and when you're done, bring it to me. I have something for you. I mean, here we go, I guess. I'm just getting paper towels so I don't get it on the granite. I'm nervous because he doesn't do things like this. I'm just going to lay the plant like that and get this open. I'm going to make a little dot. Oh my gosh, I think that's too much. Boop. At this point, I'm just making little dots. <gasps> this is a look. I don't know why, but I manage to make a mess every time I do something. Maybe that's why he's doing this, but I'm blaming it on the sponge things because they're really hard to work with. <laughs> I'm putting this on my tripod, and in about five minutes, I'll go in with the second layer. I'm trying to look back and think, why a plant? What have I ever said that would have anything to do with a plant? A plant has five letters. I don't freaking know. I just finished the second layer. I think it looks pretty good. Um, I just realized I'm verified. What? Okay, I'm done. Here's the video. I cannot wait to see what he asked for me. I just did that. <laughs> so. <laughs> I'm gonna turn the AC down. So I decided to go to Starbucks, but I'm broke as hell. So I pay with my credit card because self love, okay? I've been through a lot. A lot. So you know how you gotta turn down the music because you're gonna order. Okay, I did that. I ordered. She hands me my drink. And where's my panini? And my panini because I'm freaking hungry. Self love. I thought my window was rolled up! I thought it was rolled up! Last thing she has to hand me is my card. So I'm over here, grab my card, and I'm putting it in my purse. And I start singing. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Thank you, have a great day. And I... I just drove off, and now I wanna hide under a rock. <sighs> grab some cherries. Yay! Wash them, cut them in half, and take out the seeds. Grab two lemons, wash them, and do the same thing. Set those aside, grab a bowl, pour in some chocolate. Melt the chocolate in the microwave, stirring every minute. I'm making two servings, so once you have the chocolate, grab two cups. Dip the rims of the cups into the chocolate. Put the cups in the fridge in the meantime. Grab a larger cup that has a lid. Pour your cherries in. Squeeze in your lemons. Wow, that was hard to do with one hand. Add in about two tablespoons of sugar, more or less, depending on how sweet you like it. Mush everything together. I'm using a whisk. <laughs> Once you're done, it should look similar to a jam, but not as thick. Put some ice into the cup, put your lid on and shake it for three minutes. When you're done, it's gonna look like an almost melted slushy. Add in about a bottle of water, stir that together. This is where you can choose to add more sugar. I'm adding a half a tablespoon. Grab your cups out of the fridge. Pour it in, pour it in. Now you know how to make chocolate cherry lemonade. Let's try it. Okay, here we go. Wow. Let's restock the guest bathroom. Skincare first, I'm putting it on this thing. This is gonna be the shower bar. Sol de Janeiro. And Frenchie. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. Next shelf's gonna have Olaplex. And way. Last shelf is kind of random. Yeah, moving on. Found these drawers for under the sink. Extra hair stuff. Stuff to shave with. Makeup, you never know. Lastly, gentle stuff and more skincare. This is kind of how it's going to be laid out. Perfume in case they forgot. I'm also putting these bags here in case they want to take any minis. Lipstick, deodorant, tree hut scrub, mini bath salts, how cute, loofahs, and bath bombs. Let's ignore the no decorations or shower curtains. This looks so good. I'm so proud of myself. This looks amazing. Yo, what up? Spend the day with me in Miami at Target right now. Take 1,000. Got a brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso. This is my outfit, just plain black. Okay, I'm definitely making a Valentine's Day hot chocolate bar. I was hoping to find this. There was one left. Little honey pot. It's so cute. I also found this cream and sugar, these cups, and more stuff I don't need. Definitely getting this for spring, maybe I need two. Or do I do this one? Okay, wait, that is so cute. I need some self-care too. I don't know what this video turned into, but... Okay, I'm back. So excited. I'm gonna make the Valentine's Day drink bar thing now, so I will see you in part two. Getting a mango salad. Mango juice, walking in the rain. Oh my God. My boyfriend gave me this entire bathroom to do whatever I want with. Let's unpack all my stuff. Okay, I may have overpacked just a little. It's fine, it's fine. Makeup in the first drawer. First drawer done, kind of. Next, we're doing skincare. Just knocked everything over. This thing is so cute. I actually have to lay everything down. I don't know what I was doing. Let's put my hair stuff in here. By the way, this is a really good hair oil. I love this stuff. Okay, this looks good. 
Almost forgot this brush. Now we're done. Keeping perfume on the counter, maybe I can get a cute tray. I think I'm gonna keep the lip gloss in my Glossier bag. Counter is clean-ish. I still managed to have more. I feel like I'm gonna need all of this. Also, look what he surprised me with when I got here. Custom-made towels with my name on Let's him up. I can't. These are so cute. I literally have the best boyfriend. Okay, well, I should probably unpack my clothes now. I'm summoning my boyfriends. <laughs> Anyway, so she just showed me the whole bathroom. Right? I don't even know how you fit everything in here for real. That's crazy. What'd you think? I think it's cool. I love it. I'm excited. Moving in soon? Yeah. Yeah, see. <laughs> Yo, what up? Oh, God. I'm cheap, so I'm building a DIY vanity mirror. We're just stapling the frame together. Now we're just painting the areas that'll be exposed after we put down the mirror and the lights. Got these vanity bar lights at Home Depot. Now we're just screwing them into the side. And we're done. Wow. <laughs> Day two, we bought another mirror. Just put some glue underneath the mirror and some heavy stuff on top. It takes 24 hours for the glue to cure. I'll show you what it looks like tomorrow. Resetting my life part two. Kidding, but here's my lip reveal. Da -da -da. I love that. Still healing, so they look a little crazy. Anyways, come with me and my sister to take Instagram pictures. This is the outfit, love. Clip from Amazon, keeping the glasses on. Earrings from Claire's, I think. I can't remember. These necklaces. Sweater from Sisters and Seekers. Hugs and leggings. The vibe is solo coffee date, so let's see how this goes. It's really dark. We're gonna do some flash shots. It'll look so good. This looks so aesthetic. I just thought of the cutest date idea for me and my dog. Using these floats from What Do You Mean? I'm gonna need a lot of space, so yay! Two chairs. Tied a sheer with hair ties. Now I'm adding some pillows. <laughs> And some blankets, sorry. Extra mile, that's my last name. What can I say? I'm cute. Bottom line. Four snacks, I'm doing blueberries for me. And four treats for Hazel. And we'll scooch over for Zach. What'd you say? And from the back, told you. Trust the process. Spring cleaning part one because my house is a mess. Starting with the mini fridge, let's restock it. First, we're filling the mini bottles. Green Gatorade, I'm gonna try my best to pour it nicely. Berry. Smaller ones will have coconut water. Those are going on the middle shelf. Now I'm gonna fill the mini containers. Fruit snacks. And gushers. And the bigger ones will hold fruit. Grapes. Raspberries. Blackberries. Strawberries. Those are going on the bottom shelf. Strawberry soda is going up here. Can't forget the lunch bowls and Capri Sun because I'm a whole child. Charcuterie bites. Is that how you say it? The door has the coconut water. Poppy. Mochi in the freezer. And that's pretty much it. I give it a week. It's Hazel's birthday and she's one years old now. <laughs> she's grown up. Let's make her some treats. Grab about a cup of watermelon. Put it in a blender and then add two scoops of plain yogurt. And we're blending. Once it looks like this, grab some molds and pour it in. I'm just using a measuring spoon. Aren't these molds so cute? For the next treat, all you need is one or two strawberries. Smash them with a fork and then put them in the mold, but don't fill it all the way. Fill the rest of it up with plain yogurt. Now put them in the freezer for a few hours. I also got her this gift and I put a little bow on it. One more gift I have to pick up, but her reaction to everything deserves a video on its own, so I'll see you later today. Yo, what up? I used to work at Bed Bath Beyond, and the one thing I loved doing was folding towels, so I'm gonna show you how I fold my towels. At Bed Bath Beyond, they have these tables with measurements on them. Since I don't have that, I'm just gonna use my hand. First, I fold the bottom up about the size of my hand. <laughs> no! <sighs> I had to give Hazel her own towel and a bone. Anyway, so you take the bottom, you bring it towards you, and you fold it to the top. And then you do the same thing one more time, like that. Now turn it towards the right and fold it in half like that and then fold it in half one more time and that's it. I normally do this on a table but it's full of stuff right now so I'm gonna have to wash these right after but I just love the way they look when they're folded like this. They're super fluffy. I love it. This is my linen closet and see? I like it. Yo, what up? Got a package in the mail from Courtney. It's only open because I had to rip off her address. This is a swap and I have no idea what's in here. The only thing I do know is that our theme was pink, so whatever's in here is pink. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's a note! This is so cute. I'm just thinking about the note I gave you. It's not as cute. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't even know where to start. I'm probably gonna say cute a lot. Oh, this is so soft. Yes, my favorite lip oil. A surprise ball. Let me open it real quick. You're supposed to unwind it and I got this little fortune. Yeah. Oh my god, this is actually really fun. So far I've gotten a tattoo and this pocket crystal ball. Nice. Next we have some Oreos. <gasps> yes! Thank goodness, I've been eating some of these. Truffles, I've never had this flavor. Ooh, there's something inside. This is so cute. There are erasers. I'm taking some of this out. Crayon lip smackers. This mask is so cute. This is everything so far. The box is still really heavy. I'm running out of time, so part two will be up in like five minutes. 
Part two, I'm at the nail salon. Let's see if they can fix this. Okay, square one, they removed the polish. I asked them to remove the whole thing. They said they can't, so I'm stuck with this. I fought them for a refund over the phone. They kept telling me no, then I got there. I almost left, walked out the door once they took my nail polish off, and then they said, we'll give you half your money back. <laughs> at this point, I'm done. Let's Turn see if- Bluetooth on. Let's see if the next place can help me. Do I even dare ask for this, or should I just go with a solid color? <laughs> okay, I got something even better, ready? tipped very well they're so cute please they compliment my skin color and just oh my gosh it's just so beautiful finally yay i can finally film this redecorating my beauty slash filming room part six I have so much to do i'm gonna start out with this area when you go to ikea always go to the as is section so i found this height extension shelf thing and i have a really good idea for it i'm putting it right where the mirror was i'm putting the mirror on top of this oh still see my outfits i think even better and i can store things underneath now i'm gonna stick some led lights behind the mirror <laughs> i'm also putting some underneath the shelf it's gonna look so cute oh my gosh bought these cute plants from ikea i'm gonna stick them up in those two corners this is the last one. Oh my gosh i'm sure i got this decoration from home goods so i'm going for like a black and white beach theme so i'm putting it right next to the mirror then on accident i put one of these plants inside and now i really like it Okay, it seems like I didn't do anything, but just watch this. Wow, what should I put under there? Next, I'm going to finally organize all my makeup and skincare. I'll see you in part seven. I don't know why I bought this, but here we are. I'm actually really excited. Toppings go here. First, m &Ms. I was so close. Sprinkles. <laughs> Much better. And crushed Oreo. Moving on. Now I'm going to make the base. One cup of whole milk. A cup of heavy whipping and little cream. This reminds me of my recipe videos. I was cut off. I don't think I'm supposed to whisk it, but I have no other option. It's bad. Now I have to pour it all in that bowl. Okay, well, here goes nothing. I have to wait 25 minutes. Love that this is happening at 2 a.m. My clock's wrong, I swear. Okay, here we go. You're supposed to pull this down. It's working, kind of. Some sprinkles. They kind of go everywhere, but other than that, this is the best thing. So cute. Yoda. I made it to Vegas for my birthday. So let's set up the hotel room. First, I'm laying out my makeup. Isn't this bag so cute? You can actually hang it up. Forever 21. Don't know if they sell it anymore, but if they do, you need one. Anytime I travel, these are my makeup must -haves. Also, there's a whole bench in the shower. I just bumped into that and now my hair's wet. I was gonna say, I don't think I've ever had a hotel room this big. I'm very proud of myself. The only clothes I packed are in here. I'm an overpacker, so this feels very off. This is us. <laughs> Part two, let's take them out of the freezer. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. She's gonna love them. I'm gonna store them in a mason jar. These are the cutest dog treats I've ever seen. Just set everything up. Let's see if she likes her treats. Ready? Okay. Like it. She's very gentle when she eats, so she's not gonna take a big bite out of it. Let's see if she likes the watermelon one. Yep. <laughs> she's so cute. Girl, high five. <laughs> Time to open presents. It's a look. Go through it. Toy. Oh my gosh, she's so happy right now. <laughs> Get it out, baby. Oh my gosh, I gotta open these for you. What else did you get? A mini pool. <laughs> Here you go, baby. Happy birthday. My family makes fun of me for the way I make my orange juice, but all I do is grab some oranges. I use about five, wash them, and cut them in half. This is probably going to be one of my shortest videos, but I have my cup. <laughs> Stop looking at me. I have my cup, my orange, and then I just press down. And then I just scoop the pulp and put it back into the orange juice. Why don't you just eat the orange? Because I like to drink it. It just hits different. Part four, I got more sugar because I ran out. I think I'm gonna get it right this time. We'll see. We got the sugar, the f corn syrup, the colored water poured in very, oh, very carefully. Universe, look at me. I'm putting the sugar away because I'm not gonna have to do this again. A lot of you guys told me to use powdered sugar instead of cornstarch. This has both of them in it, so it's the best of both worlds. I know you think about it all figured out. Invested in a basting brush. Oh, I have a good feeling about this one. Now you know how to make a giant lifesaver. It's finally working! Oh my god! Look at that! Oh my gosh! I'm so proud of myself right now. This is why you never give up, kids. This girl is on okay, here we go. Wow! Yoda. I found more mini verse making mini food balls, so I'm gonna try and make more. It was so much fun last time, so let's see what I get this time. I'm so excited. First, I'm gonna open them. 
The little ingredients are so cute. It also comes with a recipe card and collection guide. I will be needing that. First, I'm pouring the syrup on the bread. Bananas. And blueberries. I'm trying to use the mini tongs, but it's not working out. This is so cute. Now I'm gonna let it sit in the sun. Well, that's there. I'm gonna make a few more. First, mini boba. Look how cute the ice bag is. Ice first. Boba. And milk tea. Oh my god, I can't. This one's my favorite one. I'm gonna try and find the other colors so I can collect them. Look at the pink one. Oh my god. Just made these two. Now I'm gonna make a milkshake. Oh, it's a chocolate milkshake. Okay. These mini chocolate bars are so cute. I'm really hoping this one is the berry refresher because I need to collect it. I got pineapple smoothie. Still a good one. I think I did good. This is so cute. I'm gonna let these sit in the sun so the resin can cure. Oh my god. Okay, they're done. This was so much fun. Now I can add these to my collection. Here's another one of my 3 a.m. purchases. It seemed like a good idea at the time. You can do it with any fruit. I'm using a watermelon. Ah! First, you screw these into the bottom to make it stand. But you're supposed to cut the top off. Scoop all of the fruit out into a bowl. And I just put the tap in. Now I'm straining out all the chunks and seeds. Oh my gosh. Let me put some ice in and let's try it. Yes. Yes. This is what shopping at 3 a.m. is all about. It leaks a few drops after you've used it. But other than that, I have no regrets. I'm going to recommend this on my Amazon page because it's so stinking cute. In case you want to try it, the link is in my bio. Yo, what up? I messed up. I forgot to get the stuff I needed to finish painting my room. And I can't do part four until tomorrow. So I hope this will hold you over until I can do part four. I'm going to try Nair for the first time. I'm gonna do a little patch test because I'm not trying to get burned. Let's go to my bathroom. So the directions say I need a damp washcloth or sponge. And I've got three just in case. Sorry, my back's itchy. I just hold the phone. Okay, here we go. I'm so scared. It says to spread it evenly. So I'm so scared right now. Oh my god. Let's see if it works. Ooh, okay. Personally, I don't like it because it ended up leaving blotches of hair no matter how long I left it on for. So I'm just gonna stick to waxing and shaving. It's been about a month since Kelly has cleaned her room. Let's see what she's up to now. Eating freaking Cheetos and watching Love Island. Very productive. Oop, she's on the way to her room. Let's see if we can get her to notice it's dirty. On the count of three, yell, Kelly, clean your room. One, two, three. Kelly, clean your room! It doesn't look like she heard us. One, two, three. Kelly, clean your room! Hello? Will Kelly ever stop eating Cheetos and watching Love Island instead of cleaning her room? I guess we'll have to find out in the next episode. Redecorating my room day four. The bedding is here. I went with white sheets, white pillows, a black duvet. I am so happy with this purchase. Black marbled pillows with a rose gold zipper. I got them from Bed Bath Beyond. They're so cute. And lastly, this oversized knitted blanket. I also finished putting up the paintings. It says home and cozy. They also glow in the dark. I forgot to do that one. Time to decorate Hazel's corner. Crate covers are so expensive, so we're just using one of our furry blankets. I bought her some brand new fall toys. Fall is my favorite season. I couldn't pass these up. I put in some treats for her. I think she's gonna like it. To spice up this corner, I added a really pretty plant. <laughs> There's still paint on my fingers. These lanterns I got from Ikea and that bling effect though. Oh my gosh, I'm finally done. This took forever. Maybe you're like lightning in a bottle. <laughs> What's next? On a normal day, this is what the lighting would look like in the room. And this is my favorite part. It's the vibes for me. Well, redecorating my living room next. Tag love sack. Tag love sack. Sponsor me, thanks, bye. Yo, what up? I'm gonna try and organize my jewelry for obvious reasons. It's bad, this took me an hour to untangle. Basically making my own jewelry closet. Okay, first this mess. Almost done, just need this. Finally done, I forgot about a lot of these. Putting everything on the shelf. Earrings. These are so cute, next bracelets. Now I'm putting my rings on these stands. I couldn't fit them all, but these are my favorites. Also, why? Every time. Still need to figure out the rest of my necklaces. I was able to fit everything. I think it's so cute. Now I just have all my accessories and then my jewelry. Love this so much. Especially this part with the hangers. I should probably organize my perfume next because... And this entire room, honestly. Grab some strawberries. Wash them. Grab a small spoon. Take your spoon and cut into the strawberry, but not all the way, and pull out. Do this until you make your way around the whole thing. Don't mind my nails, by the way. Now that you have your first layer, start higher up and make a second layer. Once it looks like this, you can either leave the top like that or cut it in half. Now grab a skewer and poke it into the bottom of the strawberry. Put a whole bunch in a vase, and now you know how to make a strawberry rose bouquet. Every Mother's Day, I like to make my mom a DIY gift basket because she loves anything DIY. I'm doing a Mother's Day series. You can see how I make and what my mom's basket ends up looking like this year, so hopefully you can pull some in. Spring cleaning part four, the pantry, part three. I got the buckets and I filled them. Let's put them in. Oh, yeah. I also picked up this really cute woven basket. I'm going to be putting waters in it. Okay, room temperature water or ice cold water is the question. So I bought these chalk labels and a chalk marker and we're going to start labeling the gray boxes. A, A, A. <laughs> All done. My favorite 
is saucin for all the sauces. This is the last one. <gasps> wow. I have a lot more to label, but I want to fill the containers first. I got these cute jars at Walmart for five bucks, and I'm going to be filling it with flour and sugar. Oh gosh. Here we go. They are so cute. I also got one for cookies. We're going to be doing chips away for this one. Now I need to find a place for my pre-workout. I'm thinking about emptying that bottom shelf there and then put all the cereal into the containers and label them and then I will be done. I will see you surprisingly really soon. Spend the day with me in LA again. Lululemon invited me to a private shopping event for their fall collection. We're going to do that first. Yeah, I found it. They just gave me a $500 gift card. So excited. They're going to see if they have a seven and a half. Love this coat. I just don't know where I would wear it. Look at this bag. Favorite color of green. This blue is so pretty. Probably going to buy both. This wall is beautiful. Damage. At least it's all $500 off. It started a dressing room for me. <laughs> Try this puffer jacket on. Okay, sold. It snows a lot where I live, and this is perfect. So cute. It's not the cutest thing I've ever seen. This is so perfect for winter. Buying this one for sure. Getting this puffer vest. That's the back. It's so cute. This color is everything. I'm obsessed. Are you? First of all, the sleeve. So cute taking. Okay, well, I definitely did some damage. Oh my gosh. Okay, so they just hooked everything up. Thank you, Lulu. Everything was free. I'll give you a haul of everything when I get back to the hotel. Next era one, I got my favorite smoothie. I'm at the mall. First, I'm going to Lush. The alien marketing team is on it. Oh my god. I want this bat one. It's so pretty. I went to Mo. You didn't see that. I got this coffee. It comes in a can. That's really good. Next typo. I'm so excited. This top is so cute. A mug decorating kit. It's so cute. Oops. Hi, Mama. Now I'm at Home Goods. I'm looking for Halloween decor. This is so cute. Yes. I would, but it smells so bad. Cross your fingers. I really want the ghost blanket. No luck. Organizing my makeup and skincare part two, I'm gonna start to fill the drawers with these containers. I'm gonna clean the drawer really quick because there's a bunch of dust everywhere. I'm doing two of the larger containers from Target in each corner. And I'm putting five of the smaller ones in between. Oh man, <laughs> yikes. I think the best way to do this is to put everything in little piles and then put it in the drawer. Okay, I made some progress. These are my little piles. The first container is going to hold my face palettes. This one will be for highlighters. I actually like the way they look if I stand them up like this. So cute. This one will hold blush, powdered bronzer, cream and liquid bronzer, setting powder, baking powder. This area is kind of all jumbled up, so it's just powder area, I guess. As I learn more about makeup and try different brands, I'll be able to fill the back of the shelf. But for now, wow, I love the way it looks. In the next one, I just spaced out five of the larger containers. The first one is for tinted moisturizers. BB and CC cream. Full coverage and stuff I want to try. Powder foundation, blur sticks, and concealer. I still need to fill these and my whole skincare and lifestyle section. I'll see you in part. This isn't exact, but it's going to do the same thing. Ah, yeah. Saw the original video. Genius! Now I want to try it. So I got one. Yep. Okay. Ooh, I got to take those pictures down. Oh my gosh. It's raining! This looks so real. What? I can sit here forever. I knew he was done. Oh, I'll creep into my window. What are you doing? Start this video. I just have to grab something real quick. No, I don't think I'll be using this. What the hell, bro? No, oh, this is what I need. Dude! <laughs> Sorry. What are you doing? I didn't mean to. I think that. No. Dude, did you even know you had this in here? Oh my gosh. Did you even know you had you this? You did this on purpose. Is this the video? No, it's look, it's not even recording. What do you even need? It's for... not even recording. It's just... my jujitsu bag. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Why do you have so much stuff in here? What's this bag for? What is this bag I for? I need to donate it. That's all full clothes. <laughs> Ow! Are you done? No, you know what? Actually, I do need this bag. Really? Wow. Spring cleaning part four. Oh, part four, the pantry. Also part four. Gotta make space for my pre-workout, so I'm clearing out this bottom shelf. I got motivated and I cleaned the entire cabinet, so time to put the stuff in. All right, let's move on. Now it's time to fill the cereal containers. <gasps> wow. I made sure to label them with the date they expire on. Time to put them in the pantry. Now I'm just finishing up the labels for the flour, sugar, and cookies. Wait, did I spell flour right? Okay, just making sure. <laughs> Last container is for our coffee beans. Oof. And this 
is the last thing I needed to do. Final review! Wow! This looks so amazing. I'm so proud of myself. Thank you for joining me on the series. I have so much more to do. <laughs> make sure to follow me to see what's next. I'm done with the smoothie bar. I'm gonna make a lemonade bar. It's 11 11, make a wish. Making this into a lemonade slash refresher bar. I don't know what else to call it. These kind of look like fish bowls. I feel like there's a popcorn kernel stuck in my gum. I can't get it out. I'm filling the first jar with monk fruit. This one's gonna have freeze dried strawberries. Oops. Can't forget the mangoes. Blueberries. This is for a thumbnail. Raspberries for the last one. Life hack. I put a Ziploc bag in here to make this jar look more full. Wow, cycling. Wait, this is so cute. Okay, I got this from Home Goods and I'm gonna put the lemons in it. Now I'm just topping off the honey. I got these mini reusable straws from Target. And I'm just putting them in this jar. Stirring sticks. And my favorite tea. Oh my god! Wow, this is the best one. We're almost at 5 million. I'll get a tattoo if we can hit 5 mil in the next 10 seconds. DIY Among Us costume for you and your pet. Grab a container without its lid. Flip that over, grab some silver paint, and paint the corners. Do 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 do. Scratch that, paint it like this. Now paint a little rectangle in the corner. Make sure the rectangle isn't perfect. I made a little indent right here. Set that aside, grab some white and yellow fabric. Fold the white in half, trace a squiggly. Lock glue on the edges together and leave a little opening like this. Grab some pillow fluff and stuff it. You don't want to stuff it all the way. Do the same thing with the yellow fabric, but this time do a circle. It'll look something like this. Glue those together and now you have your hat. I'll totally yeet that and use some toilet paper. Grab your helmet and some Velcro strips. Stick two Velcro strips on the top. Next you'll need a hoodie. Hot glue two Velcro strips on the top inside of the hood. Wrap your hood around the helmet and Velcro those together. Hot glue gun your egg or your toilet paper to the top of the hood. And that's it. We just made this in part two. I'm going to show you how to make this. Oh, and make sure you leave about this much space on the bottom so you can breathe. Literally wasn't me. I know I was on top of the bed with the body in the same room, but it literally wasn't me. You guys are... Beep, beep, beep. Yo, what up? Anyone else feel like cups have been giving grandma's couch, Karen's kitchen towels, casino floor? Until today, look how cute these are. These ones color change. Let me get some ice. Okay, what? The water looks blue and red. Wow. Found the triangle cup. I'm actually going to use it. This one looks like a disco ball. It's so cute. This one is so cute until you turn it around. I'm going to keep it facing forward. This one's my favorite right now. The straw, the texture, everything. Look at this masterpiece. It's beautiful. This reminds me of the Very Berry Hibiscus Refresher. Summer 2023, maybe. Please bring it back. I got this one in Florida. It's perfection. Lastly, this one, the straw. Oh my god. And this one. Eee, it's so cute. And that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to put everything away. Spring cleaning my pantry part two of part four. I'm gonna start off with taking all the food and organizing it into the buckets. Okay, I cleared off most of the countertops, so I separated it. So here are my sauces. I have a breakfast bin, more cans, and then instant foods. And this is gonna be like a dessert box. I organized the spices into the smaller bins. It's one in the morning and I'm missing four bins, so I'll be right back. So much has happened to me in the last 24 hours. It's insane. I just got home from Rehoming Boo, so I had to wait till I was calm and collected to finish this video. I hit 2.1 million followers, so thank you. And I can't find the bins. I am an individual and I am strong and I just gotta keep the party bus rolling. Since I don't have the bins, I'm just gonna put the ones I have in place. I have a couple of these bins with the wood top and I'm just gonna be putting my teas in here. Also, if you wanna start making iced teas at home, I recommend these three flavors. They are my favorite. I put the rest of the food in four piles so they're ready for the bins that I'm getting tomorrow morning. This is what I have so far. There is so much more to do. Why is this taking forever? Um, I can't wait to label, so I'll see you tomorrow morning. I've been wanting to buy this for so long. It's basically chalk wallpaper and I'm gonna make a chalk wall. First, I'm cleaning the wall so that it sticks better. My walls are textured, so I'm using command strips to stick poster board to the wall so that it's smooth. Just like that, and I'm leaving a little gap on the side so the wallpaper has something else to stick to. I'll try my best to film me putting this on, but with my luck, I'm probably gonna mess it up. The start of the first side is up. Past all of the mess, you can see my clock. It's 9.05. Let's see how long this takes me. Oh my. It's 12.40. But... I finished, and now I'm gonna take some magnetic tape. I cut nine strips, now I'm sticking them to the wall. I'm taking the same tape, the scenery is divine by the way, and I'm cutting squares like this. Oh my gosh, these are rectangles. And I'm dabbing a little bit of crazy glue on it. And then you just lay the marker right on top. I wanted to make sure these were secure, okay? That way, I can do this. Can you imagine what it's gonna look like with all of them there? Exquisite! It is now three in the morning, I talk too much and get distracted, so I'll see you in part two because i'm going to bed yo what up part two of my at-home waxing setup also subscribe to my youtube channel because i'm going to be hosting a video this week about all things waxing so if you're interested in that you'll love that video part one was all about the waxes let me show you the supplies i keep a big bottle of hand sanitizer here and then up here i have my barbicide wipes and my liquid barbicide i use the barbicide wipes to disinfect anything that i touch basically like the bottles any surface areas and then i use the liquid barbicide to disinfect my tools everything here i got from amazon besides the mini drawers i got those from bed bath and beyond in this container i keep my lint-free cotton pads and then i have my pre-cleanser my wax remover oil aloe vera gel and lotion after an eyebrow wax i like to put maybelline's great lash clear mascara on 
love using this on my eyebrows. It makes them look so fresh and dewy. And then I just have my tweezers and scissors. One day I will replace these with tweezer men because I think they're the best and they work so good. And here I just have my waxing sticks and strips, which I just organize in here. My bigger body waxing strips are in this photo keeper. And here I keep small, medium, and large. And I do the same thing with the sticks. I store everything here. Part four, I'm putting these bins on the top shelf. I'm gonna fill those last, but I spaced them out better. Now I'm putting my favorite bags on this shelf. Next, I'm filling the main part of the closet, which will clear up at least the bed. I tried color coding, kinda. Let's just see if it looks good. First, my shirt, hoodies, sweatshirts, and crop tees. How oh, is this my closet right now? It doesn't feel real. It's so pretty so far. Da -da 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 -da. This side's gonna be my casual, comfy side. Just made that up. I basically more sets. Putting my leggings on this shelf. I'm using the shelf divider to separate flared and regular. I'm also putting bodysuits here because those are comfy. That's it for this side, but what do I put here? The other side's gonna hold my dressier clothes. <laughs> I think I'll put all my bottoms on these. Shorts, pants, sets, everything else. That's pretty much it. I'm going to Vegas in a few hours for my birthday. I'll do the bins when I come back. Actually, when we get back, because you're coming with me. Going tubing for the first time in a long time. I'm scared. Doing this in Uggs, by the way. Hitting everyone with my tube. The mountain where I'm going to die. This is Calvin the tube. That's Klein. Okay, I'm at the top. I'm freaking out. <laughs> Here's the mountain. I'm scared. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Can you place it with I'm not going to push it. I'm going to be holding on to you from here. Oh, okay. So, the tube. Where it's view, you should put your back this Can't way. Can't feel my hand. I'm <laughs> 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 being dry. We're going to fall again. We're going to race. <laughs> I won. Yo, what up? I'm finally gonna redo my entire office. And this is why. Please help. First, I'm taking everything out and I'll deal with it later. My noodle arms can lift anything. <laughs> I'm so excited for the new table. Almost done, just need the closet. This is really heavy. Okay, it's all empty. Hear me out. What if I turn this room into a giant closet? Just saying. That would be. I'm kidding. I really want to, though. Talk me out of it. Now, I'm gonna try and build these very heavy drawers I got from Ikea. What is this? Why? Just why? So excited to build this. There's so many pieces, which is my favorite. Step one. There's already a problem. It doesn't fit, so I'm gonna have to return the other two. Okay, so I found these. I'm gonna go build those now. I'll see you in part two. Deep cleaning my nail cart because it's so bad right now. I'm just gonna start by taking everything off the cart. Wow. Okay, the first shelf is done. Let's see how long this takes me. It's about one o'clock right now. The second shelf is done. Oh my gosh. Wow. Now I'm just going to wipe it down with the Lysol with hydrogen peroxide. This smells so good. Ew, there's so much dust. I took everything out of the bins. Now I'm going to disinfect them with barbicide wipes. My setup is pretty much staying the same. I'm putting my most used products up top. I'm still keeping my nail tips and dual forms on this side. Wow! I forgot to mention I wiped all the little stuff with Barbicide too. I'm finally on the last shelf and it's three o'clock. Are you ready? Bam! Oh. My. God. Woo! I don't know why I didn't post this. First let me clean this real quick. This is what it ended up looking like. It's the exact Hello. Size I wanted. Don't mind my nails. Um, if you want to get instructions on how to make this, go to my 53rd video from this one. Basically, all you do is you go to any home improvement store and buy a mirror. Cut the wood to the size of the mirror. That way, you don't have to get the mirror custom cut. Then you basically make a box with the wood. You can either staple it or screw it together. Then you're just going to glue the mirror on. On Amazon, search Vanity Bar Light. They have a pretty good selection to choose from. Lastly, get yourself a dimmable switch with dimmable light bulbs. The table is from Ikea. I've had it for literally years. Look how, like nasty it is but on this side i keep makeup palettes and then this side just holds other random stuff and then my cute little stool that's missing screws also i have some really exciting news i'm actually redoing this room once again and if you guys are bored one of these days i would love it if you could dm me some ideas because i'm kind of struggling right now this is actually going to become my youtube background so i need to spice it up Boop. yes oh wow. when you have a straw collection and you're too hesitant to show it. These are my blue watermelon, I mean marble, <laughs> marble straws. My hip straws, they open to make cleaning easier. And they're the ones I use the most. My favorite color changing straws. Seriously not in the mood right now to be grabbing waffles from my ice maker machine. 
I was just trying to show you the colors that my straws change to when they touch ice. Anyway, these are my favorite bended metal straws, my favorite straight metal straw, my favorite Starbucks straws, and these straws that I use for my cereal because it has a little straw to drink the milk at the end. What was I gonna say? Anyway, I'm just kidding. I don't even use them. I just bought them because they look cool. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, what up? You guys know how I love my games. This one's called All of Us, but today it's gonna be called All of Me because mm, I don't have anyone to play with. Yay! Everyone call me your generation. Mine's Gen Z. We're starting with millennials. I'm going into random videos and commenting the questions on the card. Here's one for Gen Z. Actually, didn't know this one. Next up, boomers. I don't think they'll be on this video, but prove me wrong. And and lastly, Gen X. I actually knew this one. I'm going to be doing these all night, so let's see if you can find one and answer it. And shout out to what you mean for the dope hoodie. Woo, you should try one. Yo, what up? Hello, guys. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, you have no idea what I found at the grocery store. Oh, why am I whispering? Oh, because people don't like how loud I am. Well, it's a good thing I don't care. Loki, my feelings was hurt, though. And Karen, yes, I am that girl. I like being that girl. Anyway, I got something at Walmart. I personally have not seen these before, so let's open it up. Get some water into it. Gotta fill it to the line. Putting it in the microwave for three, ew, three minutes. Eh. Pour the mixture in. Oh, it looks so good. Well, it's a good thing I bought extras. No? Okay, let's try this. Cheesy. Spicy. Woo! That's pretty good. Wow! I did it. There you go. Pretty good. Cleaning my cleaning closet part two. I have to go to the kitchen. So I normally use these cleaners, but I'm going to wait till they're empty. And I saw these glass spray bottles and I'm going to try and make homemade cleaner. In case I don't like it, comment down below your favorite cleaners or recipes you think I should try. But for now, I might as well be cute while I have them. If you just want to do this and skip the homemade recipes, most containers will tell you if you have to store it in its original container. With what I read on my other cleaners, these are the only two I'm putting in glass bottles. I'm labeling them with this and a paint marker. These are so cute! Also, I saw that a lot of people wanted to know how my hand was doing. I just want to say thank you. I feel so loved and cared for. My hand is doing so much better. I'm almost able to make a full fist, and it's getting better every day. These bins are from Ikea. I'm putting Swiffer pads in this one. I almost forgot I got these command hooks. You stick them to your wall, and you can hang your broom or mop on them. My cleaning cloths are going in this basket. I'm putting the cleaners I use the most on the first shelf. The rest of them are going under here and under my sink. This is so cute. I'm adding a fake plant on the side. This basket for Hazel's clothes and that one for random things. Oh my gosh, it looks so good in here. I'm sleeping in the closet. Good I bought a freaking cricket and I'm going to go hide it in my brother's house because I'm an evil little sister. This is payback for the pimento cheese. I'm in his basement. I'm putting it in this ramen box. That one was this. <laughs> that one and oh, some things flew. There wasn't just a smoke porch. Uh, <laughs> I thought there were bats. I don't see nothing. I don't see anything. Oh, All I gotta say is pimento cheese. Oh, hell no. I ordered this off of Amazon. It's for a pool or like a hot tub. I don't have any of those, so I'm just gonna use it for my room. It comes with hooks that I'm not going to use, some batteries and controllers. Inside of the white boxes are these pool lights, and let me show you what they do the batteries are in now i'm just laying them all around my room so i have this controller all you do is press on oh my gosh you can change the colors you can do like half and half it's just the best purchase ever this is what they look like with the lights off i feel like i'm in avatar the movie it's game night we got the cheese balls we're starting it off with a heated game of hot words while i'm waiting for everyone to get here i'm going to show you how to play we're playing two teams you can play up to four every team chooses a jalapeno card this is the word you're not allowed to say while you're guessing the hot word one player on the team will describe while the others guess your goal is to make it around the map before the other team From what'd you get jam and oh gosh you're not poor you have money <laughs> which means you have what? stuff <laughs> different word <laughs> things starts with a w Ah, no! Feeling spicy, we're going with hot. Words are containing O. Dollar bill. Dollar. That's something in my face. Something. Like I'm thinking you fall off. You. Ah. You. <laughs> Two, three. No! Oh, doing this again. It's three in the morning, guys. Here's another one of my 3 a.m. purchases. <laughs> Waited outside for three hours in the dark for cups. Oh, well, this is the first one. She cute, she cute. Okay, this one's kind of ugly, but I didn't want to have FOMO, so I got her anyway. I think I'm going to trade it for something I do like. This was my favorite one. Oh, girl. 
hi you guys must have got here pretty early huh i just pulled up like five minutes ago oh look they're opening the doors yeah someone did that and they got a whole bunch of these i got this blue stainless steel one the straw though it's so cute like everything matches i usually don't get water bottles but this one was so cute am i right like they all go together <laughs> so hard to find so i hope i don't break it because it's glass i also found this one these remind me of jello so i've been calling them the jello cup don't know what i feel about this one i might do a trade and this one also a trade now i get to organize them i'm so excited what? diy hot chocolate bar part two this is what i was most excited for let's fill them up my favorite chocolate mint truffle wow so aesthetic reality next we have pumpkin spice hot cocoa i don't even like pumpkin spice Oh, it's good. Next, we have marshmallows. I just launched my marshmallow lip collection. Check it out in the sun. And these, your lips look so fluffy. And you can't forget the candy corn. Then there's these things, which I cannot pronounce. And milk chocolate truffles. I forgot I had one more, so I'm just filling it with Oreos. I got these chalk labels and a chalk marker to label the jars. The labels are done. and sticking them on now. Wow. Cookies are going back here. Truffles back here. And the hot chocolate up front. In part one, I told you I was going to show you what the smaller ones are for. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> Coasters. Storing them on the left with a pumpkin on top. Ow. Now I just gotta figure out what to write on these little things. They're a chocolate bar, cozy, to go, and fall vibe. Adding a candle, leaves, and pine cones for decoration. And that is it. Oh my gosh, hot chocolate central. You wanna follow me, right? For more DIYs like this one? Yeah. I found these at Walmart while I was shopping for a really cool recipe video I'm posting tonight. I'm almost positive Courtney has done a video on these. I'm going to tag her because her content just makes my day. I'm just going to read the ones that are kind of funny. Cop tarts. Yeah. <clears throat> More on salt. Oh my gosh, look. This one is shaped like a cereal box. So I went, ah, this one's cute. Rice Krispies. Bing mints. Okay, we're getting to the good stuff. This feels like a candy bar. Oh my gosh, I can't open it. There we go. Ah, dang it. Two milk drones and peas. And the last one feels like a bottle of sauce. Fish bone. <laughs> if you turn your screen with me, that's everything. The only one I really liked was the Rice Krispies. I bought a pumpkin. I'm going to try and carve it. Don't know much about carving pumpkins, but I do know I couldn't leave the store without this one. We're going to set you aside. I got a little carving kit. I don't know if that's going to work. I mean, look how small it is. And then a carving spoon. First, I'm using this little tracer, and I'm going to trace where I want to start cutting. That was so much harder than I thought it was going to be. Let's try to open this. Oh, there we go. Okay, but the texture of inside the pumpkin. <laughs> and to think I was going to leave the spoon behind to save an extra $6. I'm so glad I got it. Okay, well, that's the best I could do. You can kind of see it, but I traced out my design. I'm going to start cutting now. First design is done. <laughs> Before I show you my masterpiece, I put a face on this guy, and my little guy is going to have freckles. Getting your new house, man. I worked so hard on this. He's a little too tall for me to put the top on, so I got to cut his hair. Boop. <laughs> Why do I feel bad? Is it because it's three in the morning? And we're done. Let's turn off the lights. What? Oh, and the stairs can we just like oh my gosh this is so cute grab a bowl add in three packets of unfavorable <laughs> on fly bar gelatin add in half a oh, do i even continue add in half a cup of cold water whisk until it looks like applesauce set that aside and grab a medium-sized pan add in one and a half cups of sugar i can only get this right one time one cup of light corn syrup Ooh. half cup of water and a three finger pinch of salt on medium heat, stir until the sugar has dissolved. Once it's really smooth, you'll stir every three minutes until the edges start to bubble. Once it looks like it's boiling evenly, lower the temperature and simmer for 10 minutes. Slowly add in your mixture. It'll start to foam up and that's okay. Grab your hand mixer and start mixing. Once it starts to get foamy, add in one tablespoon of vanilla extract. And we're mixing! Yeah, mixing! It'll look like white caramel when you're done. Grab a 9x13 pan and dust it with powdered sugar. Now that the top is flat, dust it with powdered sugar. This is best to do overnight. Grab some parchment paper. Let it sit for 16 to 20 hours. It's 1 a.m. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm cleaning my entire house on my Instagram stories right now. So if you've ever wanted to see what my house actually looks like, go follow me on Instagram. There's probably 20 plus videos on there already. So if you're bored and want something to do, let's hang out and clean my house. Anyway, I'm already bored of the way my bathroom looks. So we're going to redecorate it again. I just took down... The shower curtain and liner, and now I'm putting up a new one. I'm using actual curtains, but my mom inspired me to do it like this, so that way I can open them like that, maybe hook it onto the side. I don't know. I just took out the old bath mats, and these are the new ones. These are the towels I'm using. <laughs> I can't go on. I'm sorry. This is a redecorating fail. Like, what? I don't even know where I'm going with this. If you guys can comment some ideas, I would appreciate it. Spring cleaning part four, the pantry. Viewer discretion advised. Hiya! That's <laughs> so bad. Oh. I'm going to start by taking everything out of the pantry and putting it on the counter i knew it i knew we had pepper i kept going to the store to buy more 
The set of the pantry is done and I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. There's still a whole other side. And I'm done and it goes on a shelf. Now I'm gonna organize everything. I'm gonna have a pile for keeping and a pile for donating. Now that everything is kind of organized, I'm gonna take this method cleaner and spray the wired shelves down. And we're vacuuming! Now that the cleaning is done, I can start organizing and decorating. I went to Bed Bath & Beyond and I got this can tracker. It can hold 54 cans, so I'm gonna put this at the bottom shelf and we're gonna start to fill it. This did not make sense to me at first, but now it does and it's really cool. So you put the can on and then you just push it and it aligns with the bottom. How did I not know this existed? That's all of my cans. Now I just have to put things in the buckets and label them. I'll see you in a couple of hours. Yoda. Got this random box delivered today. It, well, really yesterday. I waited until today to film the video, but let's open it. Hello 2021, love from TikTok. Oh, let's see what's inside. No freaking way. This came at the perfect time because I am redecorating my beauty slash filming room. Eventually I will put it up on top of my vanity, but I need to finish painting the wall. I'm gonna put it on the shelf for now. Okay, I just got the box up. Now I'm gonna lean the board on the box. Wow, thank you TikTok. Home goods haul, yay. Oh, fried chicken burrow toy. Milk for Santa and cookies. I know, it's early. You'll be okay. Pumpkin burrow toy with little bats inside. A banana with monkeys. Pumpkin spice puppuccinos, so cute. Mattella pup approved spread. Reindeer, Rudolph the red nose. A gingerbread man frat house, what? Okay, that's the last Christmas thing, sorry. Her favorite donut toy, caca bag. Food mat that says woof. This Halloween blanket that I actually got at Target for $8.50 on sale. I am a crazy, crazy girl. Let's surprise her. This is the last thing. Hey, so come look, look at that. your donut you want your donut <laughs> she likes to put her nose in the donut hole it's so funny i don't think i ever told you guys about hazel she's a four month old shiba inu and she just loves to play oh okay ready ready go get it thank you who put me in charge of snacks my mom my niece is turning two and i have to be there in an hour first on the menu dolphin and friends just wait for it drawing on the eyes grape goes in here now i'm gonna put the fruit on the tray same thing on this side. So cute. I'm gonna make the sea turtles. That's the process. Why am I shaking? It looks so bad. Hold on. You can see the toothpick, but it's fine. Next, the seashell watermelon. I'm using this to make the pearls. Now I'm gonna put them in. Okay, something easy. This is coral. We also have. Thank you, Pinterest. This is my favorite one. Now I'm making seaweed. My mom just called. I'm supposed to be there five minutes ago. Last one. Goldfish. Almost forgot the sea cucumber. Okay, that's about it. Everything is so cute. You're ready without me. Okay, I'll do my makeup there also. Okay, everything made it. So, what do you think of the snacks? Absolutely delicious. Day one of redecorating my bedroom. If you're wondering where I've been, I've been here eating chips, seaweed, going to Taco Bell. First, I gotta pick up because we are gonna be painting that wall. AKA throw everything in my closet. Oh. Ow. Clean up, clean up, everybody clean up. Just about done taping the outer parts of the window and the tops of the walls. Now I just gotta do the molding. That was way harder than it needed to be. Now I'm strolling out some cardboard paper to keep paint off my floors. Everything is now taped. It's time for the paint. I didn't know that this was just a liner. I didn't get a tray, so I just made a DIY one. I'm so excited to show you the color I chose. It's a lot darker in person, but it just looks so cool. I hope this works out. <gasps> oh my God. First coat of the wall is done. Now I'm going in with a paintbrush and getting the corners. The wall is done. There's so much more to do. I'll see you tomorrow. Yo, what up? I'm gonna try to make a coffee candle. Don't know what I'm doing, but I've been winging it my whole life and it's gotten me this far. So that's what I'm gonna do. First, I'm making the caramel drizzle, so I'm melting some wax for that. I'm heating up the jar and Hazel's going crazy. Now I'm just adding in a few drops of this candle wax dye and a few drops of this caramel latte scent. I'm waiting for this to cool down a little bit and my plan is to put it in this piping bag. <laughs> It worked! It actually worked! I'm using clear gel wax as my ice. Now I'm making the coffee. Here goes nothing. I'm trying to make a creamy brown color. I'm so excited. My place is going to smell like coffee all the time. I'm so scared. I don't want to mess this up. Here we go. Oh my gosh. There we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so cute. Now let's make the whipped cream. I broke up a whole bunch of tea light candles and I'm going to melt them in the microwave. I'm just whisking it and then I'm gonna put it in this piping bag. Okay, it kind of looks like whipped cream. 
Oh my god. Wow, it looks so real. Ah, it smells so good. It's so cute. Part two, let's take it out of the fridge. In part one, I told you to use four packets. I don't know why I said that. I meant four packets from two boxes, so eight total, don't forget. All right, I have my cutting board. I'm gonna cut it straight in the middle. This is what it looks like cut in half. I'm gonna cut it one more time. Oh my gosh, these are so cool. Pff, I'm a little dramatic. Now you know how to make watermelon fruit slices. Let's try it. These are so cool. They're frozen in time. No, jelloed in time. Oh. Okay, here we go. What? What? This is so good! You know what? For me, it needs more sugar. Maybe put some vanilla extract in the mixture, but you need a little bit more of something sweet. But other than that, it's good. Mmm. Also, what is going on? Last night I had 3.1 million friends. Now I have 3.2 million friends. Oh my god! Hello, thank you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm excited for this one. Everything I'm going to show you is on my Amazon page. If it's not, I will let you know where I got it from, but the link is in my bio. I am so low on everything right now. I haven't done lashes in a few months because my focus is somewhere else, but I think I got this container at Bed Bath Beyond or Home Goods. Up here I have micro and lip applicators. I use these for so many things like adding pre-treatment or sealant or even removing the lashes. Here I keep my under eye pads. I've tried so many. These are the best ones I've found so far. For any service before I set up, I like to lay a dental bib down and then put my stuff on top and I just keep them on that bottom drawer. Spoolies, cotton swabs, and tape. If you're willing to spend a little bit more on tape, next care is so much easier to remove. Oh my gosh. And it's more comfortable for your client. I get my tiles from Home Depot. I thought these ones were so cute. I got this at Michael's. When I make my pre-made fans, I just store them in here. My Nano Mister. It's so cute. Lash shampoo that I love. This manual air blower. Honestly, I just use this fan. I know I should try other lash brands, but I just love Minky's lashes. When I practice, I keep the tiles in photo boxes. These magnifying glasses come with a light. Super helpful. If I missed anything, I'll list it in the comments. Organizing my makeup and skincare, I kind of just put everything on the floor so I can start fresh. I have an idea of what's going in each drawer, but I don't know how I'm going to organize it, so let's see what I come up with. This drawer is going to be my lip and lash drawer. I've been waiting so long to unbox these and put these on display. I got these frosted trays from Target, and I'm using them to organize my lip glosses. You know those lashes that you can wash and reuse a couple of times? I never know what to do with them after the first use. At Home Goods, I found this pack of three trays that come with the lid, and I'm just going to store them in here. This is what the front of the drawer looks like. I still can't believe that Too Faced sent me my first makeup PR box. <laughs> I'm storing all of my makeup palettes in this drawer, and I'm going to organize them by using these palette organizer things. I'm putting the most aesthetically pleasing palettes in the front, and instead of having them stand up like this, I'm using this container to hold them at a slanted angle. And as you can see, I have an addiction to BoxyCharm. Well, this is what the front looks like. How am I already out of time? I just talk too much. Let's be real. I'll probably end up finishing this around 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, so I'll see you in part 2. I've got to try this. Grab some strawberries. Wash them and cut the tops off. Now cut out the middle so they look like strawberry cups. This part is optional. You can cut the bottoms off so they stand up. Set those aside. Grab a bowl. You'll need 8 ounces of cream cheese, half a cup of powdered sugar, and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Mix everything together. I'm going to get some help because I can't do it with one hand. It's going to look something like this when you're done. Put some graham crackers in a Ziploc bag and crush them. You can also use a cup if you don't have a rolling pin, a food processor, or a blender. <laughs> bowl and start filling your strawberries with the filling. I'm using a cereal spoon because I haven't done dishes. Please observe. There you go. Dip the strawberry into the graham cracker like that. And now you know how to make strawberry cheesecake bites. Let's try them. Okay, here we go. <laughs> mm, really good. Wow. Redecorating my beauty slash filming room part three organize all of this back into there somehow after i'm done with that i can finally work on the rest of the room i can't wait to eat this wallpaper i'm gonna start by building these wickered baskets from ikea i have six of them so the first one is going to hold my wax supply the second one is going to hold anything to do with lashes so my lash extension lift and tint supply i'm going to put all of my small disposable items in this six drawer container I'm running on supply maybe i'll do a restock video i decided to put it on the shelf and next to it i'm putting my wax sticks and strips in the third cube i'm going to be keeping my favorite things like my micro needling pen my ultrasonic skin scrubber and my high frequency machine the fourth cube is going to hold any extra disposable supply like gloves q-tips things like that the fifth cube will hold any extra nail supply on this shelf i'm keeping my towel warmer my wax machine and my skincare fridge these two baskets are from home goods i'm putting cleaning and disinfecting in this one and hair tinsel in this one i didn't know what else to put in here put those on the top shelf and look at this plant it's so cute i'm putting it in the middle the closet is finally done for the most part i have a plan for the rest of my stuff like makeup and skincare so i'll see you in part four I try not to open this door to avoid what's inside. Yeah. Reorganizing my cleaning closet. I'm going to start by taking everything out. I'm debating whether I should DIY Hazel a mini closet. She has so many clothes. Look at you, 
waiting. She loves when I take them out. The first shelf is done. I'm so glad I'm doing this. And why do I have pillows in here? Okay, wow. I just gotta grab this now. Whoop. I'm taking this out and I'm gonna use it in a different space. I can't wait to show you what I got instead. I got these two cube organizers. I already built one. I'm gonna hurry and build the second one. One more screw. First one is going in like this. I put the second one on top and I secured them together so they wouldn't move. Yeah, my IKEA was out of stock, but Target definitely came through. This is exactly what I wanted, minus the little space in the middle. Now I have to put everything back in and organize it. I'm also going to be decorating, so I will see you tomorrow for part two. Redecorating my living room, part one. Ah! It's a disaster right now, but this is what I'm working with, and I'm really going to miss our old couch. It's broken and ripped, though, so I'm excited to build the new one. Before I start tearing everything apart, literally everything is going to get replaced. I'm going to give you a little haul of what I got so far. I'm going for an outdoor vacation vibe because that's what's most relaxing to me. So I got these stream lights at Target and I'm going to hang them from my ceiling. It'll make more sense once they're up there. And then I got these from Home Goods. I can't wait to show you where I'm going to put them. These two are from Ikea. I could cry of excitement right now. Oh, hold up. Let me do a thumbnail. There we go. These are also from Ikea. They were on sale for really cheap. So I got a whole bag of them. <laughs> the living room is also going to have pops of peach. Pops of peach. I'm so excited. Bath and Body Works has some new scents of candles, and I am obsessed with this one. And it matches. Also, this one is really good, too. Mm, so cute. She loves the new couch. Oh, my gosh. How did I get so lucky? Well, the real work starts. I will see you in part two. My sister is a Sephora kid. I'm going to try and make her a Sephora kid gift basket. She's going to kill me for posting this video. Love you, sister. Okay, good check before I go. Love it. Let's go. I definitely need one of these. just have a feeling she's going to want gifts you. Body cleanser. Sol de Janeiro. This is their new one. It smells so good. For Fenty, we're doing confetti matchstick. Lots of rare beauty. Anastasia Clear Brow Gel is my favorite, so we're getting her that. Charlotte Tilbury is a must. Glossier, I'm gonna do a lip balm. Maybe birthday. And wild fig because it looks cute. One size is a must. This is magic in a bottle. I want this so bad, but they're out. Crying. Your face kissing jelly. Oh, bubble gum and watermelon. This is always my favorite section. We have to do drunk elephant. The Nage Lip Mask, Summer Fridays. Get her one of these, why not? Tear just shed from my eye. That was expensive. I'm at Target now. I always get the messed up cards. So cute. For me. For my sister. Because I love her so much. A squish, but I'm getting distracted. Decent looking basket. Let's do some flowers. And back home, let's fill the basket. Hey, it's all done. Hopefully she likes it and is not mad that I called her a Sephora kid. Anyway, bye. Helping Bo with the video, he's putting his wig on. You can tell me it was this cold. 27. <laughs> the picture on <of> my Snapchat. <laughs> Kelly. This. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. From the nature. Oh, God. <laughs> <In> the nature. It's <laughs> 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 the I believe in you. That's your spot. Nah, I just, I'm waiting for it. I'm just letting it get, you know, ready for me. So cold that the water froze on top of the water. Oh Alright, we're gonna have to go. We're gonna have to go fast. Okay. Alright, so get in front of me. Okay, wait. Just give me a, give me a minute real quick. Please, God. Feet burn. Do it right, do it like, do it wrong, do it long. Go, Bo. Hey, Kelly. Please don't laugh. Hey, Kelly. Kelly, it's too cold. Come on, God. Ow! I'm sorry. What? Okay. Can you just hug me? <laughs> Hold on. I'm gonna try and decorate my entire house for fall. Starting with the DIYs, wish me luck. First door mat. This one should be easy. Draw my outline. This isn't working. Maybe I need more paint. Next eyes. I'm trying to make it look like it's holding a pumpkin. Okay, I did it. Oh my. I'm DIYing my doormats from now on. This is so cute. Next, I'm making mini blanket ghosts. It'll make sense in a minute. Two fix first. So far, so good. Now I'm gonna put these pieces of blanket on top. I made eyes. I have to glue them on. I'm also gluing these on. I found them at Target. It's gonna look like it's holding it. I put them on my stairs. These things are so cute. Little pumpkin. Oh my God. This will dry white. It's gonna be so cute. Next, I'm decorating my house with everything else. I'll see you in part two. Yo, what up? I just woke up. Broke off all my nails last night, so I'm getting them done tomorrow. Can't decide what I want, so I'm gonna let the top comment choose for me. I forgot I bought these, so let's open them because I'm freaking bored. I'm looking for Lunchables and Capri Sun if they have it. Okay, that's a shopping cart. What is this? Not a lunch one. Nope. No, but the baby bell is really cute. I refuse to do a part two. Speed round. No. Nope. 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 Kool-Aid. That's close enough. Come on, lunch bowl. How many times am I going to get this one? Nope. No. This is my last one. Come on. I just want a little lunch bowl. Nope. 
shoes are not looking good. <laughs> okay, well, all that for nothing. Well, Kool-Aid. My sister is really crafty, so I'm gonna give them to her and see what she made. <laughs> oh, Kelly. Yo, what up? Oop, I bought myself some flowers. Here's the thing, I like flowers. I work hard, I deserve these flowers. I'm a bad bee. So I bought myself some flowers. Wow, maybe this is your sign. Don't wait around for no one. Get them yourself, because you deserve them. Let's put them in a vase. I got this weird shaped vase. Oh, snap. And I also have some scotch tape. I'm going to tag the account I got this hack from, but first I'll put tape going one way. Oh, and don't forget to fill it with water first. Oops. And then do it going the other way. Boop. Now just cut your flowers to fit the size of the vase and stick them in. Filling the middle first. I'm going to add a few pieces of baby's breath. And that is it. Wow. Oh my gosh, these are probably going to die soon. I need to put more water in them. Also, I got the vase at Michael's in case anyone wanted to know. And hopefully these last till Valentine's Day. Yo, what up? I like to compare my lips to my DMs. Dry as hell. <laughs> I feel like I'm walking around like this. So dry and disappointing. My friend recommended that I try this long-term instant lip plumper stuff. I have moved. Let's open it. Okay, here is the lip gloss. That's what the color is. It doesn't really say what color it is on the box. Here are the instructions, which we're not gonna need because it's just lip gloss, hopefully. When I was created, my lips were put on upside down, meaning my top lip is bigger than my bottom lip. So if this doesn't work, I'm getting lip injections. Okay. It smells good. Tastes good. I am up close and personal now. Ow! It burns! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys, this is probably gonna be my last video. I'm not even gonna lie. Go to anybody's profile right now Everybody has zero views. Everybody has zero likes. It might just be a glitch on my phone, but it's a pretty big glitch if it is. It's a lot of coincidence. But just in case, my content does not stop on TikTok. I'm also on YouTube at Honey Bubba Bear, and I'm also on Instagram where I just post the exact same type of content. If I don't ever see you again on one of these or on TikTok, I just want to say I love you guys so much. Thank you for a good time on here. Don't forget the well. Don't forget the yay. And just live your life. I love you guys. And don't forget the recipes because those are really good. Yo, what up? Oh, do I have a video for you. I'm so tired. I really think you're gonna like this one. I'm posting that video later today. But for this video, I don't know why I yell. <gasps> Look, my hair kinda looks like a bow or a big butt crack. I went to Sally's and I got this quick dip kit. The kit comes with nail tips, glue, and a fox. It also comes with the activator, brush on glue, and three dip powders. I'm gonna be using white. So yeah, let's do my nails. I've never used a dipping powder before, so we'll see how it goes. Starting off by filing and buffing my nails. I'm not gonna be using the nail tips that come with the kit because that's just too much work and too much filing to get the shape I want. I just bought some that cover your entire nail and they're coffin shape, which is my favorite. I'm only doing one nail at a time in case I mess up. Ooh. Applying the glue. And I guess you just dip it in. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is the aftermath. Um, <laughs> I need more practice. I ripped my nails off because I filed them down too much. They looked like a birthday hat. Yo, what up? I was scrolling through TikTok and this cute girl did something so amazing that blew my mind. So I'm going to show you guys exactly what she did. So you're going to need some baby oil. She used a coconut one, but I'm sure this one's fine. So it's going to look like this. You're going to take out the little dispenser thing on the top. Oh, boo. Just eating my plant. Can I have a kiss? Love you, but just gonna get messy. Okay, now I'll take a brand new highlighter. I got this one at like Target, I think, and crush it. I'm gonna use a clean makeup brush. So here, I keep timing it wrong, so I get cut off. But this is what it looks like so far. So pretty. Once that's done, grab a little paper and make a funnel so that it fits in the bottle like this. Now pour the highlighter into the bottle. Let's see if I can do this. Now you're gonna shake it, but I'm just removing the stickers off the bottle. Okay, it's all mixed together. Let's try it. We in the dark. Oh, snap. Got some on my bed. <gasps> Look at that. So pretty. Part two. I'm putting in all the lights now. There's a lot because it's kind of creepy when that's the only light on. So hopefully these will help. First, I'm putting these rope lights along the edges. First shelf is done. It already looks so much better. Now I'm doing the middle shelf. It looks so dreamy. Let me show you the potential. There's a random purse. Look how it glows. Oh my god. Now I'm going to put in these puck lights. I think I got too many, but we'll see. So we're running so good on time. It's almost 2 a.m. 
cry. I put a closet like this on my vision board right there. And here it is. Vision boards work. I'm gonna finish putting the lights up. I'm doing two in the bigger section. I was worried about all the controllers, but they all sync to one. I just velcroed it to the light switch, and yeah. I'm gonna try them all at once now. Oh my god. This is so cool. I'm gonna cry. Lastly, I'm gonna organize my clothes back into the closet. I'll see you in part three. I'm so excited. Yo, what up? The living room is finally done. I can finally do a reveal, kind of. There's still some things I want to do. Look at Hazel. She's so cute. <laughs> I don't know what she's doing right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's see how many times she does this. <laughs> I don't think she's gonna stop. <laughs> Getting tired? <laughs> oh. Still wanna do something with the bottom of this plant and hide some cables, but other than that, it's pretty much done. The light, the Shiba Inu, everything just looks so pretty. <laughs> I feel like I have no energy. I fell asleep at like four in the morning and I'm just so tired. I didn't do anything else with the couch. It's still the same and so is the mess, but it's cute, it's mine. The vacuum lines on this rug. I would show myself using the couch, but I look like a horse stomped on me and left me to die. Please do not do this at home. Let me do it for you. Okay, plugged in. No, it's stuck in my head. Girl, don't do it. It's not worth it. Putting some parchment paper down and I'm going to use tweezers so I don't burn myself. I'm not going to do it, girl. I was just thinking about it. I'm not going to do it. Putting another piece on top and going to close it. Oh my god. Ew, it stinks, but that's what it looks like. Holding it like this until it cools down. Hey, did I do it? <gasps> okay. Tried to put it on and it broke. Hold on, let me make another one. I'm gonna try to do my name. I did it, but they're so easy to break. Watch. Whoops. Um, very creative though. Yo, what up? My nails are fire. Literally fire. Look at the flame. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Time for our daily hug. Bring it in. You're so warm. We're gonna be decorating my very first Christmas tree. I've always decorated family Christmas trees, never one of my own, so I wanted to include you guys in it because it's special. Let's do this. This is where I'm gonna put it, so I'm gonna move all this stuff to a different area. <laughs> Can I help you? Fuck! <laughs> now I gotta mop it. So pretty, the first layer is down. I'm opening up the branches before each layer. Listen up, y'all, because this is it. The beat that I'm playing. Wait, oh my god! gosh look at my hand it's so swollen and stiff i can't fully straighten it so i'm kind of scared but if you want a story time or an update like this to so let me know i am going to be taking it easy today and answering questions when i record i just use my phone i don't have like a fancy camera or anything and i even use my phone for youtube videos for lighting if i'm going to film anything in this room i just use my vanity lights and then sometimes i'll use my box lights bam there they are i got these like three years ago they're either the mount dog ones or the limo studio ones i can't remember I get my bulbs from amazon as well that's the wattage in case you want to buy them this is the tripod i use i love this tripod so much i got it at best buy i love it because you can adjust the height and it's so easy to use for my recipe videos this is the kitchen i use and this is the counter i film on google change lights to ivory i use the phillips hue lights in my kitchen for the lighting and i always use filter f1 and that's how i'm able to get my recipe videos to look like this i always keep an extension cord around and if i want color in the background of my videos i use this thing got it off of amazon you can change it to literally any color you want using this dial and that's it <laughs> You know how a while back I reorganized my entire bathroom? My skin feels so dry. I clearly don't have the right product, so I need to try something else. I'm gonna try Olay's body wash and rinse off body conditioner. Growing up, all my mom ever used was Olay. She still uses it, and she is so soft. Bye, dry skin. I'm so excited. This stuff smells amazing. This, I still need. It's time for the body conditioner. So far, so good. I'm gonna see how I feel tomorrow. This is only one week later. My skin feels so renewed and hydrated. Yo, yes, I think I found the one. Yo, what up? So I'm gonna teach you guys how I taught myself how to juggle. So you're gonna have two balls. Um, I just have two key limes and you're just gonna hold them in your hand like this, okay? Just like that. <laughs> I'm just preparing for the comments. Okay, back to this. So you're gonna throw one up in the air and throw another one up in the air while you catch it. So just keep doing that. Oh. That one didn't. Okay, so we're gonna call this the double catch. Okay, cool. Yeah, I did it. I'm still learning this, but now you're gonna take one in each hand and you're gonna throw it into the double catch. So throw in, double catch. Throw in, double catch. Just keep doing that. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna grab, do the same thing. So you're gonna go up, double catch. Next hand, up, double catch. <laughs> now put it all together. 
know. I don't really know how to juggle, but if that helped you, you're welcome. Yo, what up? We're going shopping for the 10 million follower giveaway. I already have a bunch of stuff, but we need more. I'll show you everything at the end, but seriously, guys, thank you so much for 10 million. Three years ago, I was celebrating one million. Three years is not a lot of time. Like, that's crazy. Love you guys. First, the Apple store. I want to get you guys an iPad, maybe the purple. I went with the gray because I like it better. Now I'm at Ulta. Nice and hair dryer for sure. I want one of these so bad. It is. Got you guys the pink one instead. Where did I park? I lost my parking. Sephora. Okay, I'm back and I laid everything out. This is the highest value giveaway I've ever done. I've also never done two winners. I'm so excited. Winner number one is from here on. First, a Dyson hair dryer. I'm so jealous. Pink, I love it. And then this caboodle set. A bunch of my favorite hair care and this jewelry thing. White fox set so we can twin. Sol de Janeiro, a bunch of makeup. Hand sanitizer, P. Louise. You probably already know, but all of this is a mixture of PR and things I bought. This is what winner number two is getting. This is my personal favorite, a freaking iPad. So grateful I was able to buy this for you guys. I got the space gray. Moon, I love mine so much. Skincare, I love these masks. Body care, a bunch of makeup. Stony Clever patches, we can also twin. Love of my life, case to pop. And this jewelry thing. The rules to enter will be on my most recent post on my Instagram. Thank you again for 10 mil and good luck. I love it. It says do not open until five o'clock. It is 4.48 and I'm dying to know what's in here. While we're waiting, I guess I'm the only one waiting here. Follow me on Instagram and YouTube, link in bio. Four more videos like the ones I post just a little bit longer. I have four minutes. Yay! Oh yeah, part three, let's do it. I'm so excited. Look in the dishwasher, only in the bag. Or maybe I should look in the dishwasher first. I'm so scared. <gasps> okay. <laughs> it's a piece of wood. Oh, okay. It has like a string on the back. Okay, it's a decoration. On the back, it goes one word that best describes you. Make a video of you doing this thing. I freaking knew it. Bring it to me when you're done. And I have your last, last thing. It says last, last. Okay, let's get this open. Okay, more paint. For no, I'm not using me. I'm making a white background. I'm using my own paintbrushes because I just can't with those. I'm doing black for this part. And it's super cute. I chose the word ambitious. Okay, it's done. Can I have my thing now? My last, last thing? No. <laughs> Why? I'm freaking out. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking out. Some of you may know I work at a call center. I quit my freaking job. I quit my freaking job. I'm unemployed. Here's my equipment. I'm about to turn it in. I'm going to put these on one last time. I quit my job. I know. I'm going to do my call center voice one last time. <clears throat> Hi, thank you for calling blah blah blah. My name is Kelly. Who do I have the pleasure of speaking with today? What's that? You're being rude for no reason? And you're attacking me personally? Ba 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 ba. In all seriousness, this is probably one of the best jobs I've ever had. I made so many good friends. If you're watching this, by the way, I'm gonna miss you so much and good luck because some of those customers are just bad, just crazy. Oh my god, like all I've ever known was working for somebody. Like, I did not think in a million years I'd be able to like work myself and have like the biggest support system hold on let me compose myself <laughs> hi i'm kelly and i work social media full time now this is all because of you so thank you so much for making my dreams come true um it is nine o'clock at night and this white box was just delivered to me this box is huge it says my name i'm scared I was told the two-faced team wanted to send me something so i think this is it pause to read if you want to thank you so much two-faced let's open this box scared i'm scared beautiful cake i've ever seen this is so sick seriously full circle moment there's a part of my life where i could not afford to be buying makeup one thing i worked really hard to save for was a better than sex mascara i was finally able to buy one and i've been in love ever since i think about those moments to now where i actually got to meet the team they took me on my first makeup brand trip they sent me pr all the time they sent me a cake for 10 mil like what? so full circle and i'm so grateful thank you to you because brands would not be sending me stuff like this if it weren't for you guys i love you so much two-faced i love you guys so so much thank you so much for sending this to me and thank you for being so incredible to me Mwah! happy 10 mil Take it all in. I just woke up and I couldn't wait to make this video. I went to Sephora and I got a wet box. I'm trying it for the first time. Hopefully it can help my hair. I've been straightening my hair every day since seventh grade. So yeah. Also, Faith Force sent me this whole goodie box. I'm gonna be trying their one minute mask. Got the shampoo, conditioner. My ends feel so soft. Now the mask. I don't use that much. It smells like vacation. Ah! It feels kind of dry, not gonna lie. I just gonna trust the process. So I'm gonna use this Smooth For Sure Blowout Cream. It's supposed to be a heat protectant as well, so I'm gonna let it finish air drying and then I'm gonna style it. Okay, my hair is dry and it's so soft, I was worried for a second. To straighten my hair, I use the Silk Elements Heat Spray and then the Wet to Straight Straightener from Walmart. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. I'm gonna use Texture Spray and Shine Spray by Air. <gasps> okay, wow. Yo, what up, I'm at Coachella. I'm gonna try and make one of those get ready stations. I think they're so cute, and this table is perfect. First, the hair section. Next, body makeup. All the other makeup's going in the middle. We have the lip section. Screenshot, these are all my favorites. Blush. 
base makeup. I don't this has like primer, concealer, all that. Eye makeup. This section has eyebrows too. Contour. Brushes and highlighter. Last section is gonna have perfume. Favorite makeup wipes and jewelry. I got this on Amazon. When you open it, there's like a mirror. This is go behind the mirror. It's so cute. And that's pretty much it. I love it so much. It's so perfect. I'm posting all my outfits on IG. So if you want to see them, just in case, you can go there. <laughs> Bye. I'm at McDonald's again for the third time today. But I got to show you something that you guys will really like, I think. Will they recognize me? Hi, can I get a large Sprite in a vanilla ice cream cone, please? For sure. Anything else today, ma'am? That's it. Thank you. All right. Total's going to come to 217 on the first one. Okay, thanks. This is gonna blow your mind, okay? So here's the ice cream, and I have my Sprite. So you've gotta drink a little bit of the Sprite. Ah! I drank it to like right here. Oh my gosh, this thing is melting! Just pop the lid off. This thing is melting, okay, so ah! <laughs> Take the paper off of your ice cream cone and put it in the Sprite. I'll show you what it looks like. Oh, I'll show you what it looks like. So it's going to end up looking like this. So put your straw in. Ah! It's so good! Um, it's going to foam up so you kind of have to drink it fast, but oh my god. Wow. I have to try this. Grab some Oreos. You'll need about 27. Put them in a Ziploc bag and crush them. <laughs> I've been through a lot the last few days. Set that aside. Grab a pot. Pour in one bag of white chocolate chips and a can of sweetened condensed milk. Put that on the stove on medium heat. Constantly stir it until it's melted. Take it off the heat and add in your Oreos. Mix it all together and then pour it into a baking dish and flatten it out. Um, oh my god. I forgot the parchment paper. If you want, you can add extra Oreo pieces to the top. Leave it in your fridge for a few hours and I'll see you in I'm just kidding. There's not going to be a part two. Yes, it's been a few hours. Now I got to cut it into squares. Now you know how to make Oreo fudge. Let's try it. <laughs> how do you guys do that? Okay, here we go. Wow, it's really good and it's really chewy. I didn't, I thought it was gonna be hard as a rock. Put a finger down if you got something stuck in your eye and you can barely open it and now you have to go to the hospital. <laughs> okay, this is my eye right now. She cute, she cute. We're gonna try this saline eye relief stuff and it comes with a little suction cup. So let's see if it works. <laughs> it's like still there and it hurts so the doctor got a cotton swab and swabbed my eye and found an eyelash at the back part of my eye he also put numbing on my eye so every now and then my eye will look weird oh and silly me since i stayed up till what was it four in the morning trying to get the thingy out with my thumb and nail i scratched my eyeball and that's why it looks like that well I give this experience a 2 out of 5 star and I do not recommend. Part 5, I'm going to fill the bins now. Also, TikTok might be banned. So be sure to follow me on YouTube and Instagram. <laughs> I'm sure it will be fine, but just in case, you know, you never know. First, I'm organizing my swimwear. Usually, I have a pile for tops and bottoms. But now, I'm going to put each set in these mesh bags. Now, I'm going to put them in the bins. This is so much better, I could cry. It's going to be so much easier to find my swimsuits now. Next bin's going to hold my belt bags. Sweatpants. Shapewear. I tried folding it. I don't know. Extra bags. Hats. Almost done. I'm getting rid of the ladder. I found this acrylic stool on Amazon. That's going here. I'm short, so it's perfect. Lastly, a rug. That's pretty much it. This is what it looks like when I walk in. And here's a slow clip of the whole thing. Yup, that's it. I'm obsessed. I could cry. I've never had a clip this long. Anyways, I love it. I really want to redo my office night. Getting my nails done. I can't decide between this one or this one. This is the closest I'll get to a bee theme because I'm actually pretty afraid of them. So or this one. Ah! Well, that didn't go well. Here they are, I guess. Okay, well, long story short, I'm going to try and fix them myself. Update, I went somewhere else. The nail tech was like, who did your nails? Because there was extra acrylic all along my... Oh, it was so bad. I just went with what I had before. I just want one set person to go to. So if you're a nail tech, DM me. I'm so excited. Look! what i got in the mail i got a pr package from lush so i'm gonna do a haul let me know if you guys like pr hauls and i will do more this is the little note they gave me they're so cute there are so many things so i'm gonna go fast starting off with the bubble bars this is elsie the giraffe strawberry foam apple crumble it literally smells like an apple light bulb moment the great wave silver lining it's a cloud this would look so dope in the tub i couldn't find the name to this one puppy love the honey pot miss whippy castle in the clouds now we have all the ones in brown bags this one is called twilight i think this is seaweed that's cool 
Matcha Roll Rainbow 2020. This is a bubble stick. It's called Mallow Drama. The rest of these are bath bombs. This one is called Dynamite. I've never seen anything like this. Frozen. Bubble and Squeak? Question mark? Should we test it? Eclipse. And Ahoy. Lush! Thank you so much. I love everything. I could literally cry. Thank you. Yoda. I'm bored, so I'm going to try and set up one of those really cute flower photo shoots. It's between this or cleaning my car. First, I'm setting up the flowers. Half of these are fake. Okay, they're all in vases. Now I'm going to position them. This is going in the sink. I'm holding this one so it needs to go right here. Those will look like I'm filling the vases with flowers. I don't know. That's pretty much it. Now I'm going to set up my lights. Okay, but the lighting. Wow, it feels so professional. Okay, this is my outfit. Just got back from the grocery store vibes. I brought flowers home, you know. Time to fix my lips. Here face. This one's spicy. Fenty heat. Let's it burn to go bite in the middle of the night. My lips. That's the lip combo. It's so cute. It's so cute. Okay, I think I'm ready. I'm posting them after this video, so let me know what you think. Yeah, I'm excited. Day three of cleaning out my closet. I started sorting everything out. This is my keep pile, and then this is the donate pile in this area. I'm gonna try and fit all the donate items in this bucket. I'm starting to see the floor. I'm gonna drag this out of the way. I'm sorting out the clothes and making neat piles. This is before. What in the world? And after. After two days. These are the clothes that make me happy and that fit. And those clothes, I got something to say to you. Goodbye forever. Every day I see these clothes, I just feel pressured in being something I'm just currently not. That pressure makes me want to explode. So I turn to food to escape from that feeling. I obviously don't fit those clothes. And I keep telling myself I'm going to lose the weight so I can be able to fit them one day. And I don't. And it's a cycle I just can't break. Hopefully rehoming my skinny clothes will steer my mind in the right direction to loving myself for who I am now. I think this is the first time I've ever opened up. Wow. Now I'm going to put this together. Yikes. This is the last one. So heavy. I'm excited for this. Ready? But you. I'm putting in these really cute gray storage bins and I got ones that are half the size to fit on top. All that's left to do is get the rest of the bins, fill the closet, and we are going to be done. See you tomorrow. Yo, it up. I forgot I had this shirt, by the way. It's my Denzel Curry shirt. Anyway, I've never tried slime before. I don't even know what the heck it feels like. So I'm going to try it for the first time. This slime was sent to me as a gift by Boba Bell Slime. So thank you again. We're going to start off with the cookie. Don't mind my dry, ashy hands. Oh my gosh, this is going to be like an ASMR. Oh, oh my, what? Whoa. I don't even know how to describe this. Oh my, that was cool. This one is a crunchy slime. I've always wanted to try it. Oh my gosh. Wow, this is so cool. <laughs> this one is called Baby Yoda Boba. And you can see the little boba balls inside. Oh, this smells so good. Oh my. I don't know if I'm doing this right, but I'm pretty sure this one goes at the bottom. And this one at the top. Put the straw in. This is so stinking cute. Wee, this is so fun. I do how they do. Woo. <laughs> Whoa. Redecorating my office part two. Put the couch back, not sure if it's staying there. The desk is staying here, but now I'm gonna put up the wall art. Got these frames on Amazon, they're so perfect. I love them. I don't know what to do, which ones do I put up? I think I got it, these are going up. These are going in my hallway. This can't be real. This is by far my favorite room in my house. It's four in the morning. I'm gonna put this table here, put it on top. I'm gonna use this thing as a side table. It matches, also I just woke up. That's so cute. I love it in here. It's the closet situation. It's an organized mess. Office stuff, like I need to organize that. Camera stuff also needs to be organized. And all my filming stuff. We're just gonna close that. Next, I'm resetting my entire house for fall. It might as well be a house store because I'm decluttering every room. Can't believe I'm saying this. I'm getting rid of my Starbucks cups. <laughs> just kidding. I would never. Do you have to declutter because I have way too many? Starting with the top row. Keep, keep, keep. Give away. Why do I have three of the same cup? Keeping these, but I don't want them displayed. Let's make a pile. Keep, keep. I don't know about this one. I want to keep it because of this. Not a good reason, but keep. give away for sure. Top shelf done. I'm gonna speed through the rest. Otherwise, we'll be here for hours. Okay, the way that there's nothing left on the shelf. I'm scared for the rest of them. Clearly, I love pink. This is everything I'm giving away. Let's put it in the bucket. This is kind of sad. Last time, I'm taking out the ones I don't want displayed. Okay, fast forward. This is all I'm left with. I'm gonna redecorate this whole area, but I feel like I need new shelves. What do I do? Pause on spring cleaning. Let's go shopping instead. I get easily distracted. Found a cotton candy machine. Blue raspberry and pink vanilla. Pink prime. Yes, please. Home goods. This is so cute to put homemade drinks in. Hazel's getting a s'more and campfire. This is cute. Found this. I really need it. I'm at five below. Look how cute. Yep, getting this. Pinata for Hazel's birthday. I went to Ikea for new sheets so I can do this. My bed's pink now. I love it. Also got this new stuffed animal. Oh my gosh, there's so much. I'm doing another giveaway, so that's what everything else is for. Still have to get a few more things. So I'll be back in the morning or tonight, depending on if I can find everything else I need. But anyways, I'm so excited.
Yo, what up? I'm gonna try. This is gonna go so bad. To make a snow globe glitter cup. Here's my glitter. Yikes. I also got some strawberries because grab some strawberries. You know, because of the recipes, grab some strawberries. Elmer's glue. Resin. Whatever it's called. Alcohol wipes. Distilled water. I forgot to buy a drill. Well, at least now, now you know how to make a glitter cup. I'm gonna make this video tomorrow, so excuse me while I go buy myself a new drill. Yo, what up? I couldn't get a hold of the Starbucks color changing cup, so I got something super similar, super cheap, and I just wanted to see what the hype is all about. Also, this is not it, by the way. And here they are. So Michaels is selling these for $4.99, but on a 60% off sale, so I got these for around $2. Can't beat that. Maybe you can on Amazon. Oh, well, let's try them out. Here's the first one. Oh, snap. Oh. I'm just gonna pour the whole thing in there. That is the first one. I'm just gonna use the same water for the second one. And that one's really cool. There's the third. It's hard doing this with one hand. Ooh, that one's actually super cool. They're kind of similar. And the third one, I mean, fourth one. <laughs> oh, that one's not changing. Oh, well, you get what you pay for. At least the straw changed. This one is probably my favorite. Oh, you can see my thumbprint. <laughs> well, overall 10 out of 10 at least i got the experience without the label yeah now they just get to sit here in my cup collection cabinet organizing my makeup and skincare part three i'm gonna hurry and fill the makeup side so i can move on to the skincare side i'm gonna make little piles again because that just makes things so much easier I'm doing five of the longer containers on the left and for mascara eyelash glue lip liners i feel like these two need to go in the top drawer though so i'm probably gonna move that black liner and colored liner these two trays are gonna hold my eyebrow stuff. I can't decide, I think, I don't know what I'm thinking. I think the primers are just gonna go here. I don't know how I feel about the front, but the ones that can't stand are going back here. To finish off the drawer, I'm doing setting sprays on the right. I've been practicing this line for the last 20 minutes. In the back, I am keeping my brush cleaning product and an extra beauty blender. And an extra eyelash curler, I don't know. For the last drawer, I'm using these marble trays. This one is for any product that brands send me or that I buy that I wanna try or even do a video for. And the last one is gonna be like a workout drawer. I think it's so cute. So I have decorations. I can't wait to show you those and I'm working on the skincare section tonight So I'll see you in the morning I'm Finally here. Deep cleaning my closet part five. I'm finally almost done I got two more of the half-sized bins to finish lining the shelf like that. Wow These bins are going on the top shelf. A, B, C, D, E, F, yeah. Ended up doing three on each side. Now I'm gonna start hanging my clothes. I'm using all black hangers <laughs> There we go. I decided to color coordinate this time I don't know how long it's gonna last but you know, I'm just gonna enjoy the moment I'm evening out the space between the hangers cuz I don't know, it just looks better. For the shoes, I'm using the same rack. Out of all of these shoes, these are the only ones I'm keeping. Now I'm just adding in this rug, a random plant. On this cube organizer, I'm adding a DIY decoration I made for winter, and a candle I'm never gonna light. And that's it. Wow. I'm probably sleeping in here tonight. If you guys want to see what's in my bins and how I organize them, I'm uploading a full closet tour to my YouTube channel this week. Make sure you subscribe. We're trying to hit 50K, so are we going to be able to make it? Question mark. Subscribe, link, and bye. I don't even want to stop recording. Hello, guys. This is my closet. It's so great. I love it. I'm sleeping right here. I need, like, a carpet. Part two, let's take it out of the mold. I'm so excited. I didn't realize that this is royal blue. I thought it was dark purple. What? I was reading the comments, and I guess I didn't read the bag, but why does it still look purple to me? Okay, I'm just starting here. Oh, my God. I'm gonna be so sad if this breaks. Oh, the sprinkles didn't stick. Please, 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 please. <gasps> okay. It doesn't look like a galaxy yet. Let me try putting on the edible glitter spray. I hope this works. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tried. It's not horrible. It's, you know, it's pretty bad. I can't find the little hammer, so I'm gonna break it with this. <laughs> You guys wanted an update on the puppies, so here they are. So there's the dad. That's Bruno. Come on, come here. <laughs> this is, um, I keep wanting to call her Angel because that was my old dog's name. Um, and then this is Gigi, but her name is Honey. Hello, Honey. Gigi, hi. <laughs> They're so cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're so cute. Hello. Hi, Dad. Hi. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, they're big now, and she loves belly rubs. She loves licking and biting and playing. And then Bruno doesn't <laughs> really like his children. <laughs> hey, man. And if you're wondering where the other dog, Lena, and the mom is, my brother adopted them. I've never made overnight oats. I feel like there's no way to mess this up, but I will find a way. First oats. 
Now I'm supposed to add coconut water. I meant milk. Now I'm gonna add some fruit. Let's do strawberries first. Bananas. Blueberries. I also have to make chia seed pudding. I'm gonna wing it. I know the ingredients at least. I think he used coconut milk. I'm not sure. Some honey. I think I'm doing this wrong. Used way too much chia seed. I'll keep that in mind for next time. Let's stir. Oh my gosh. Let's just... So far so good. Now I'm gonna put in the rest of the fruit. Raspberries. Blackberries. Lastly, blueberries. To add the coconut flakes. I have a feeling this is not gonna taste good. We will see. I'm gonna put them in the fridge. Literally, only <laughs> <laughs> you need pudding. Here, you take this. Sauce. Looks weird, but it's actually good. Mm. My mom's gonna kill me. Remember the lip filler prank? Oh my goodness, what the hell did you do? I really did. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> You're stupid. What? My lips are numb. I love them so much, it literally looks like I'm wearing Fenty Heat. Yo, what up? I found it! I found it! I didn't just find one, though. I found four! <laughs> this is what it looks like without the filter. Like, wow! I'm obsessed. And the straw! Let me show you the straw. Wow, it's just so cute. Anyway. Okay, they're not all mine. These two are for family members. That one is mine. And this one is for you. These are not easy at all to find right now, unless you're paying, like, double or triple the price. So I hope this finds someone that was looking for it, and maybe it'll give you a chance to win one. This is an Instagram giveaway because it's way easier to track and select a winner. All you have to do is follow me on Instagram and on the Instagram post about this giveaway, just comment whatever you want and tag one person that loves Starbucks. More details about this giveaway will be on my Instagram post, so have fun, you guys, and good luck. This is your sign to do your laundry. I'll go first. Okay, I have piles now. Sorry if you see any chonies. I have darks, whites, bedding, towels, and colored clothes. And clothes that are still clean. That... I still need to put them. Let me show you why I like mesh laundry bins. Yeah. I do half a oh gosh. I do half a cup of this detergent. Let me just pour that more cream into that. And then I get down with downy. Oops, I forgot these. I just made some space. I made a donation pile and I'm on the last load. I just have to put it away. Hey, I'm done and my entire place smells like clean laundry. Yo, what up? Remember this mirror and how I thought I could carry it up the stairs myself? Well, now I need an MRI because my back has never been the same. Come with me to get my first MRI. I forgot I have to remove my forever jewelry, so... I'm so sad. My brother's taking me because I'm so claustrophobic. And they need to give me extra stuff so I'm not claustrophobic. We're in the waiting room. I get my own locker. And you're ready. We'll just have you come right over here. Okay, thank you. I'm scared. Apparently I have to be in the room by myself. Just me and the MRI machine. I'm scared. My brother just said he wants to watch to see if I freak out or not. <laughs> Can I stand right here? <laughs> That's messed up, man. It's my turn. I'm back. They give you like a squeeze emergency thing. I wanted to squeeze it so bad, but I didn't. So a win is a win. I'm going to treat myself to Target. Okay, for real this time, I'm right here and I'm back to posting every single day. I still haven't unpacked, so let's do that. First, I'm taking everything out and putting it in a pile. I didn't even use half this stuff, so why the f did I pack it? Mm -hmm. Now that everything is in a pile, I'm going to disinfect everything and put it in that basket. I'm almost done. I got to make another pile for the brushes because I'm washing those. Do I put it away now or watch Love Island? Forget about it and put it away later. Okay, I'm gonna put it away and Hazel's gonna help me. Hey! <laughs> I'm trying to make this satisfying and it's just not working. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wow! I'm gonna go watch these and start filming my next TikTok. I have a lot to do today. Oh, well, let's play What's Your Side. Okay. Taurus, your daughter will move out. Yikes. After you've ignored all the warning signs. Y'all need to fix that. Oh, this one just jumped at me. Pisces, you'll get a standing ovation. I'm a Pisces, but it won't stop you from moving to LA. Interesting. Scorpio, your neighbor will show up unannounced. Could be a good thing, could be creepy, which sends you right back to therapy. What? These are juicy. Aquarius, everything will go as planned. Aw. But you still won't be satisfied. <laughs> oh my. Leo, it's time to be honest with your therapist. Do, 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 and it will fill a void you didn't even know existed. These are getting a little serious. Let me know if you guys like these and I'll do a part two. Spring cleaning, even though it's not spring, the bathroom. I'm going to start by taking everything out of the bathroom. <laughs> Every December, I like to declutter everything I have so I can have a fresh start for the New Year. So what I'm basically saying is this is going to be a series so that you can do this too. Yay! Woo! Whoa. 
Now that everything is out and the shower is rinsed, I'm gonna start by scrubbing it. To clean out this drawer, I'm putting everything in a separate bucket. And I'm gonna declutter this at the end. I did the same thing with the bottom drawer and under the sink. Now I'm just spraying the drawers and I'm gonna wipe them down. Same thing with the counters. I'm gonna let this sit and Windex the mirrors first. My mama hit me with a chicken wing. Okay, I'm tired of this hair. It's two in the morning. I have work in four hours. Hi, it's the next day and I just got off of work. Next, I gotta clean the toilets. I'm gonna wipe down the baseboards because they're kind of gross. Lastly, I'm cleaning the floors with a Swiffer. Wow. Now that the bathroom's super clean, I'm gonna redecorate this with all the new winter stuff I bought, so I'm gonna go film that real quick. I'm also gonna show you how I organize these. This is one of my 3 a.m. purchases. This is already, I feel like this is gonna be a series. It's such a problem. But I'm gonna try and make a breakable heart. I bought some colored chocolate. I'm gonna start out with these black sprinkles and I need to figure out a way to make swirls. I'm moving them around with this popsicle stick and I think that's good enough. I bumped it. Let me try this again. Now I'm gonna melt the chocolate. I'm doing pink, white, purple, and blue. I'm mixing them after every 30 seconds until they melt. I'm so excited. I hope this works. So I'm gonna put some white over here. And now the blue. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just putting it in random spots. Now we have pink. I'm just gonna kind of throw it around. Now I'm just gonna cover everything else in the purple. Like that. Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> I'm kind of regretting this decision. Let's just hope this comes out okay. <laughs> But at this point, all I can do is trust the process. I'm going to leave it in the fridge overnight to make sure it completely hardens. I will see you in the morning for part two. I asked you guys on my stories to ask me anything you wanted to know, so I'm going to be answering those. I'm scared. Starting off strong, did you lose weight? Yesterday was pretty hard. I cried. <laughs> but gotta keep pushing. It's only day two. Day. Um, I wish I could go back and give myself the biggest hug because I really needed it, but this was at my heaviest. I was 299. I lost 60 pounds, but it was a lot of work. It took a lot of healing up here and in my heart with myself, but I'm kind of happy now. Do you have a boyfriend? Are you single? What's your relationship status? Do you have a man? I'm gonna let the concealer sit. Drum roll, please. Um, no. I am not dating anybody. I'm in my self-care, self-love, self-healing era. All alone, making good money. I have a dog. <laughs> Did you get a BBL? No, but thank you. Have you ever dated anyone in middle school? I started dating an elementary school and my first boyfriend cheated on me with my best friend. How did your family react to you wanting to start a YouTube channel? I'm very close to my family and naturally they just told me to have a plan B. They are so supportive. I love them. If you had a clothing line, what would you call it? We'll just have to wait and see. Do you have a job aside from being an influencer? Nope. I quit my call center job to do this full time. Do you miss living with your parents? Um, no. I do miss talking to my parents all the time and having my siblings to hang out with, but other than that, no. I like having my own space. Where did those flowers come from? These are the flowers in question. I bought them myself. Have you ever been kicked out of anything? I've been suspended from school, never kicked out. Actually, no way. I was kicked out of band. I think I answered your most asked questions, so there's that. Yo, what up? We at the beach? Okay, it's not really a beach. I don't even know what to call this. Like a lake? Some kind of body of water. I'm gonna show you how to skip a rock, all right? All right, so John's gonna show you how to skip a rock, right? John! So you're gonna need this type of rock, flat, circly, uh, smooth, you know, and then you hand them to your brother, John. All right, put your finger on the pointiest part of the rock and throw that sucker. Again! Ooh, snap, that was good. Alright, so you're gonna take the rock and you're gonna throw it level to the water, alright? Like that. Oh, oh, that was good. Alright, here we go, ready? It didn't skip, but. Yeah, go ahead. Hi, Hazel. Hey, baby. And let's end the video with some ASMR. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the mess looks worse on camera. Well, there's at least one of you that's done this before. I want to dye my hair, but I don't know like what color to do. So I got this like hair makeup stuff that I'm going to try and we're going to see if it works. Okay. Here it is, hair makeup. It's blue. I don't know if it's going to show up or not, but I'm going to start separating. My okay, so I'm just going to do a tri -oval. Is that even a shade? <laughs> Wait, I'm going to tie the rest of my hair backies. Oh, I look cute like this. Sign me for the next Christmas movie. Oh, it smells like hand sanitizer. So they say the more you apply, the more vibrant the color gets. So let's try this. Oh gosh. I'm gonna do a little more on the ends. There we go. So I'm supposed to let it sit until it dries and then brush it out after. Okay, this stuff feels disgusting, but at least I can get a sense of what it would look like if I were to dye my hair like this. So what do you guys think about blue? I'm doing pink and green tomorrow. So rate this on a scale of one to 10. Let's see what color I choose. If I choose because I'd be scared. Deep cleaning my bathroom part three, time to fill the after shower shelf. I don't know why I call it that. Anyway, a lot of people were asking where I got it from. I got it from Walmart. In here, I'm storing some body scrubs. Do you hear that? After every section I record, the sound starts out super low and then goes back to normal. Does anyone know how to fix that? It's so distracting. This is for a thumbnail, by the way. 
Okay, so I like to keep lotion up here. My favorite is the Hemp Sugar Banana, and I'm also trying this one. This stuff is amazing. It's almost like a spray-on lotion. Here I keep my three essential skincare products, two cleansers, and an SPF. As your master esthetician friend, I approve anything image skincare. I feel like I'm holding the secret. Oh. These are my two favorite after shower sprays. This one's getting discontinued. If you didn't know, Dr. Pimple Popper has a skincare line. This is their new body seal that they sent me. I'm so excited to try it. It's for dry, eczema-prone skin. Literally, look at my hand. Couldn't have come at a better time. This deodorant has changed my life. I don't sweat when I use it, and it doesn't smell like anything. Thank you, Mom. A basket for my towels and dry brush. Some cute decorations in my Lush basket. A non-slip shower mat. My shower curtain shrunk. It used to go all the way to the floor. And that is it. Wow. It's so cute. Yo, what up? I just got back from a hiking trip. I'm feeling fit. Not the point. I have to unwrap, <laughs> unwrap, unpack all of my stuff. But first, I'm opening a box that TikTok sent me. I always feel so appreciated. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. As you can see, I'm opening it a little late. Oops. But I have forever florals. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Aww, so cute. It says they last up two years, so I'm keeping them on my vanity. A mirror and a pop socket. Hey, I love it. It's so perfect. So you pull a card and follow what it says. And this really means a lot to me. Like, look at the kind of cards that they have. Each night before bed, remind yourself of something great you did today. Like, this is so nice. And there's so many more of those. Again, thank you, TikTok. And to everyone who put this kit together. You did amazing. Do you guys want to know how ridiculous I pack? Let me know. And we'll unpack it together. Grab a pot. Add in two cups of sugar. And a fourth of a cup of light corn syrup. Do not mix it. You're going to leave it like that. Set that aside and grab a cup of water. Add in some food coloring. I'm doing red because Valentine's Day is coming up. Mix it together until it's the color you want. And we're mixing. Yeah, mixing until it's dissolved. Carefully add your food coloring water to the mixture. Okay, just, just super careful. Just like that. Very slowly mix that together, maybe for like five seconds. Just like that. Okay, now turn your stove on to medium heat. Place that on your stove. <laughs> My stove is so dirty. And leave it there for five minutes. After five minutes, it'll look like this. You'll need a candy thermometer. You can get this at Target for like 10 bucks. And you need to heat it to 269. After about every two minutes, take a damp brush. I don't have one, so I'm just using this. And go around the sides so that crystals don't form. Once it gets there, take it off the heat and let it cool to 212. Pour that into a quart-sized container or a silicone mold. Let it sit for about three to four hours. I'll see you in part two. Redecorating my beauty slash filming room part four. I finally have all the things I need to paint. And Starbucks with my own eyes because the girl didn't put enough. I'm painting my entire room, so I need to get all of this stuff out. I'm going to shove as much as I can in the closet. I just took out the big mirror, and I'm finally getting rid of the stinking shelf. I put all the stuff that was on it on this shelf. This is only temporary. I have a plan, and I cannot wait to show you how I'm going to organize my makeup and skincare. Oh, it's going to be a dream come true. There's tape on my floor. I'm almost done. I just need to take out this drawer and this one. I just have to take down this wallpaper. A lot harder than I thought it was going to be, but I'm almost done. I brought up all of the things I needed to paint. Now I'm just taping up the edges of the molding and the ceiling. This is the color I chose. It's a light gray, and I'm so in love with it. Here's the first coat. Oh my gosh, my voice. <laughs> coat on all the walls except this one which i'm going to start in a minute i'm so excited for part five but it's going to be delayed by a few days because the organizers are ordered are not here yet we love it redecorating my entryway and i should probably get new shoes come here, come here. your fight is over <sighs> anyway watch out <laughs> first i'm going to clean the wall with this apple green stuff oh my god Somebody come get her. I put a little screw in here because a mirror is going to go in here, right? Now, right at this moment, it's dirty. Now I'm adding a table. I'm adding a really cute plant on the left side. And then this vase thingy on the right. And this candle, which I accidentally got wet with Windex. Now it's peeling. This basket for everyone's keys and wallets. And lastly, this tiny bush. Look at my knees. They're ashy. And that's it, guys. Wow. I'm living the luxury life now. I just kidding. I'm literally broke. And now I am proud of myself. I spent less than $100, so. Well. Get ready with me for the Doja Cat concert. I have a lot of hair. Okay, I forgot to finish it, but we're here. So we got four seats. We're literally so close. That's the stage. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Good check.
survive. I don't know how I'm standing right now. We're supposed to check out of the Airbnb. Hold up late. We need a little bit longer. We are a mess. Um, we're over here just having a nice breath. Checking into a different Airbnb for the weekend. But I want to give you a tour of this one before we leave. A little messy, but here's the entrance. Ladies' room is so cute, and she has a walkout patio. This patio is so long, it looks over the beach. Walking, we're walking. Still walking. It's the entire view. So pretty, that's the ocean. Then if you walk in through here, we have the kitchen, living room, dining room. It's a mess right now. Like, what? Huge island. Makeup from yesterday. Living room is so pretty, and look at this giant mirror. This is my room. Really messy in here, but anyways, look at this view. Just wow. Literally insane. Looking closet over here. Boom, boom. You guys saw this dress on my Instagram. Bathroom. Super pretty. And that's about it. This was kind of like our get ready station, so yeah, it's a mess. I'm so tired. Um, Wish me luck for the rest of the weekend. Yo, what up? I love the way I organize my makeup and skincare. It's so convenient until I have to do my everyday makeup. I basically use the same products every day, so I have to go through every single drawer just to find them. So I got these bathroom trays to put the product. Uh, this is the next day, guys. I can't go. I'm gonna put the products I'm currently using on them so I only have to go to one spot. Vanity drawer. Vanity, I don't know what to do. I'm gonna try the drawer first. Starting with makeup, my favorite primer right now is this one. ColourPop Tinted Moisturizer, I'm always using these. It's gonna chill in the back, but I'm gonna put my beauty blenders in it. Fenty Contour Stick, It Cosmetics Blush. More blush by ColourPop. Benefit and NYX for my brows. I use clear mascara on my brows too. Better than sex mascara. I'm actually gonna put the smaller items in here so it looks less cluttered. Baking and translucent powder. Too Faced Lip Injection and NARS Lip Tint together. Yes. An eyelash curler. And some setting sprays. I forgot to change it to three minutes, so really quick, this is skincare. Finally now everything is all in one spot and I can switch out products when I want. Part two of the mystery box, we got a whole bunch of Lush. This smells so citrusy, I love it. This is the Twilight bath bomb. A comforter bath bomb. Don't want TikTok to take the video down, so that's what this one is called. I think the flower like pops up when you put it in the water. Okay, I've got my video taken down for making brownies. Like I can see where that's like questionable, but still. Look how cute this fanny pack is. We got some gummy bears. I love to put tahine and chamoy on these. Nutella, baby! I love Nutella! More dark chocolate, and it's pomegranate flavored. Some Oreos. What? Most stuffed? These exist? Oh my gosh. When I was little, I would take out the stuffing, put it in a Ziploc bag, and give the cookies to my siblings and eat the stuffing. Next, we have some pins. I'm all that in dim so That's so cute. A gummy burger? What? And this headband, it's so soft. Miles, thank you so, so much for everything. I'm gonna go run a bath right now and put on my eye mask. Deep cleaning my bathroom part two. It's time to put the product back in. The first shelf is gonna hold shampoo and conditioner. I'm trying out this new brand. I've heard really good things about it and it smells amazing. It also comes with a body wash and lotion. I'm also gonna try out this brand. I love their hair mask, so I decided to get the shampoo and conditioner. The second shelf is gonna hold body scrubs. I fell in love with these. I didn't even know about them until I started binge watching shower routines, so thank you. I feel like I have to talk so fast. Tree Hut, Tropical Mango, and Vitamin C. Mm. This is the mask I'm talking about. I always talk up on these because I feel like it should be sold out. I've always had an issue with split ends and rough hair because I straighten my hair all the time, but this mask seals those up and it makes your hair feel so healthy and so smooth. Also, this is not sponsored. I just love this stuff. You can get it at Target if you want to try it. Putting my scalp massager on top. The next shelf is going to hold more exfoliating products like this KP Bump Eraser, a coffee scrub, this shimmer scrub, I don't know, sugar scrub cubes. If you want a nice clean shave and you want to smell good, this. I also got the razor. If you haven't tried this, it's amazing for washing upstairs and downstairs, just not underneath the stairs if you know what I mean. Yes and yes. Wow, I still have my after shower shelf to fill. I'll see you in part three. Grab a bowl. You'll need one cup of cornmeal. I'm using bun. One cup of mozzarella. A little bit of salt. I'm just eyeing it. Set that aside and grab a pot. You can either do a cup of milk or a cup of water. My mom's probably watching this like, go! While that's warming up, let's open the griddle I just bought for this recipe. The milk is ready. Now pour it into your bowl. Um, don't pour in the milk all at once like I just did. While it's still warm, add in some butter. You don't even have to use a griddle. I just bought one because that's what my mom uses. And you just kind of go like this. Okay, mom, I got this. I have my stick of butter. Putting it in my hand like lotion. Take a little bit of this. I don't have gloves. I only have Ziploc bags. When it's in a ball like this, you kind of go like this, transfer it to flatten it out, and then you hit the edges like that. <laughs> Technique. Keep checking on them and flip them once the bottom goes brown. Now you know how I attempted to make arepas for my Colombian family. It's almost 1 a.m. I'm going to see if my mom's awake to get a reaction. I'll see you in part two. Everyone has already done this, but we're going to do it again with a slight twist. Grab some limes. Yay! Wash them. I'm using nine key limes because I didn't have any regular limes, so yeah. Roll them on the countertop. Also, do not remove the seeds because in seven days, you'll actually start to poop out limes. How do you think I got all these? Squeeze the lime into the cup. Add in eight teaspoons of stevia or sugar. It's gonna look gooey like this. If you wanna remove the seeds, you can. I like them, so I'm not doing that. Next, grab some ice and pour it in. Now put a lid on your cup and shake the living- Now grab your blender and add in a handful of frozen dragon fruit. You'll need two teaspoons of honey and a splash of water. And we're blending! All right, we're gonna need more water. Give it a little one, two. We're back to blending, yeah, blending! Grab a cute cup, add your first mixture in, a full bottle of water, 
stir that all together. Now add in your dragon fruit mixture, your favorite straw, and that's it. I've been making this for the longest time and I don't know what to call it. Okay, here we go. Wow, it needs more sugar. I'm waiting for the paint to dry and I'm so bored, so I'm gonna read some of these cards. Going all out, I'm using one of these thingies. Okay, there's my foot. What do we have? Okay. When your class returns from gym and they smell like onions, bro, there's always that one kid that's smelling like B.O. Oh, this is like my worst nightmare. When you can't figure out who keeps carving. <laughs> carving corn. <laughs> when a kid flips a booger at you and you find it in your hair four hours later. Okay, one more. This is fine. When you accidentally stick your hand in the gum under the desk, this is fine. It is not fine. This has happened to me so many times as a student. The room reveal will be uploaded tomorrow. I can't wait. You guys really wanted to see me use my DIY hot chocolate station, so here we go. Let's grab a coaster. Put that back. Grab a cup. People pouring in some 2%. Let's do mint truffle. Into the microwave. <laughs> wow. You've been practicing your whole life? Okay, high dishes, we are ready for the powder. We'll do one scoop in there. The energy is not here today. Grabbing a stirring stick and stirring. I'm adding one of these cookie thingies. Marshmallows. Four marshmallows. A truffle. These ones are the best. And lastly, Halloween Oreos. And that's it. Well, I'm going to go watch some scary movies. Good night. Don't let the kukui bite. Yo, what up? I did a pickup order from Target, so I'm gonna do a little haul. Oh my gosh, I said that so fast. So the first thing I got is this really cute gray throw blanket. This $40 Target gift card. Watermelon sugar cubes. Cotton candy sugar scrub. This is my favorite mask by Revolution. A really cute self-care journal. And some pens to match it. A weekly monthly planner. And this waiver I heard really good things about. And I had to get my favorite lip oil. Also, sorry about my dry scaly hands. My skin is probably gonna be like this until the summer. Got everything else from Home Goods. This mug set says you're my avo half. How cute. Oh my Goodness, this smells so good. And some bath bombs. You guys know I love organizing, so I got this cute acrylic makeup organizer. I hit the jackpot when I found these baskets. I love these so much because they have the metal handle, so I got two small and two medium. I almost forgot these two. I'm just kidding, this is actually a Valentine's Day giveaway. Enter, all you have to do is follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. Share this with one person and comment down on this video. All the links are in my bio. The winner will be announced one week from today. Good luck! Redecorating my beauty slash filming room part five. I repainted. This is the color it was originally going to do, but I think the white just reflects the light a lot better. Storage organizers are finally here, so I'm going to start picking up and making space so I can build them. What the heck? Why was that so hard to open? Anyway, here it is. I'm so excited. I have to build two of these, so wish me luck. I've separated and organized all the pieces. This is what it looks like so far. I just have to put the top and the back on. This literally took me two days. This is the one from earlier, and I just got done building this one. Now we have to stand it up. I'm going to take a break from the cabinets and install the new light fixture. Oh my gosh, I love it so much! So I got this track light at Ikea, and the bulbs are called GU10 bulbs. I got the Philips Hue ones, but if you want to save some money, Amazon does have a dupe to these. It's a four-pack under $20. Wait, is anyone else having an issue with their volume? Like, as you film, it starts out really quiet, and then it goes back to normal. It is so late right now. I literally have work in four hours. Anyway, I'm going to finish putting in the drawers and the shelves, and I'll see you in part six where we're going to start organizing everything. It sounded like I said shelves. Like I never got to thank TikTok for helping me become the person I am today. For believing in me and putting my content in front of millions of people's eyes to give me, probably your next door neighbor, a chance of pursuing something I am so passionate about. I never got to thank TikTok for creating a platform that has united such a strong community. For being a safe place so that people's voices can be heard. But most importantly, I never got to thank you. You downloaded the app, you decided to follow the creator, and never forget that you are what makes these creators' dreams come true. I will forever be grateful for the support that I've seen on this app and the support that you've given me. I cannot wait until I have kids and I'm able to tell them that at one point in my life, I had 2.6 million friends. If you're a creator and you're watching this and you've built everything you have off of TikTok, don't worry, it's gonna be okay. Your strongest supporters are going to follow you wherever you go so thank you tiktok and thank you trust me when i say you will see me on instagram and on youtube at honey bubble bear bye so it's saturday and it's time for the last gift i've obviously already seen it because it happened off camera but i want to show you guys it's really cool it was a verification party so here's the balloon wall with the check mark on it which is really cute we got the wow 
He made blueberry lemonade and cucumber water. He also got some Craig straws. Craig, dude. He also got 2.6 million balloons. Okay. He got my whole family here. Here's my bro, Andrew. Um, everyone comment if he should make a TikTok. Ooh, I can definitely do that. Don't because if he does make a TikTok, you'll be seeing a lot of layers, a lot of DIY. Oh. We got Jay Queasy. We got Jay Queasy, We got Mama here. We got my dad here. My dad. We got my sister here. Yeah, my sister. I don't know, man, but we got my boy right here. My boy. We got the doggies. We got the dogs. Wow. I love you guys so much. Grab six bowls, place a handful of cheese in each bowl, add food coloring to each one, and mix. Yes! Hot pan, yay! Lay down the cheese and put another tortilla on top. Mm hmm Now you know how to make rainbow quesadillas. Let's try it. Okay, here we go. Wow! I got this tie-dye soap making kit, so I'm going to try and make some soap. Okay, it doesn't seem like it'll be too hard, so I have white soap and clear soap, molds and instructions, and some soap colorant. I'm supposed to choose one of these and cut them into one and a half inch squares. Now I'm supposed to put this in the microwave for 30 seconds. With my luck, my kitchen's probably going to explode. I'm mixing it now. As you can see, this is take two. I'm pouring it in now. Ooh, that's cool. I'm excited! This one's gonna be yellow and red. Now I'm just swirling it around. I don't know if this is gonna look good. Oh my gosh, <laughs> these are gonna look so ugly. It says to leave it here for 30 minutes, so I'm gonna go watch some Love Island. I'll be back. Time to take them out of the mold. Let's see if I can do this. Gosh, this is the last one and just won't come out. Wow, they're not that bad. I really like them. This one's my favorite. I'm gonna go to my sink and see if it stains my hands. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay. Oh my God, it doesn't. <laughs> Okay, that's pretty cool. Yo, what up? I made a DIY nail cart, so I'm going to show you what's on it because I'm bored. Over here is where I keep my tools like nail clippers, cuticle pushers, and a file. Back here, I keep my acetone. That's empty. Slip solution and a buffer. And underneath my tool tray, I keep little strawberries, which is so cute. Some butterflies and extra nail files. In the middle, I have my poly gel brushes, which need to be cleaned, but they're so cute. They have little rhinestones on them. Then I have this little container that keeps, I don't even know what they're called, nail wipes. And my favorite cuticle oil. I love it. It's like holding a bubble. And on the right is where I keep all my gel polishes. I keep my dehydrator and primer here as well. On the second tier, I have a tray full of nail tips. My dual forms are on the bottom. The next tray has sanding bands and drill bits. This ring samples all the colors I have. I store that with my poly gel. In the back, I have barbicide, alcohol, and soak off. And on the bottom, I have a nail drill. It's perfect for beginners like me. A nail light. And a really cute dust collector. Not a pro at all. I got everything you see here from Amazon except the containers. And I watch a lot of YouTube. My beauty slash filming room is basically done, so I'm going to do a mini tour. Also, I ordered this off of Amazon. It's for my room, but I can only show it to you at nighttime, so if you want to see what it is, I will post a video later tonight. This is where I do my makeup, of course, but I also film my YouTube videos here. I got the desk from Ikea, this I DIY'd, and then the chair I got from Home Goods. The neon signs are from Amazon. That I think I got at Ross as well as Lowe's. When you turn around, this is what you'll see in my YouTube videos. This is kind of like my esthetician supply closet. So over here, I have my nail cart. This basket system is so helpful. So this unit is from Target. This long one is from Ikea, as well as the basket. Back here, I have my LED lights, which I framed on my closet. And these were from Amazon. And I also have a train case. In case you do want to see what's in my drawers, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll be posting a detailed room tour, and I will try to link everything possible. This unit is from Ikea, and you can customize it, so I just got two of the biggest ones. This side is for all of my makeup. It's my side hobby, so I wanted one spot for all of it. This side holds skin, body, and hair products. And then my mirror, and I'm going to put slippers here. And that's it. Yeah.